got Dave Chappelle me all y'all want. I am very clear on this. You could be a transgender, you could be the homie, but I be damned if a male at birth turns into a female and tries to compete against my daughters. She ain't out there. We, we, we out. Don't make this a human rights issue. This is a biological issue. Simple as that. Trust me, I am a man. And then I'm like, why can't the dudes who transition to women actually empower women and compete against the men? Since you so damn bad, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like if I were me, Marcellus, and then tomorrow I'm Martha, I change up my dinner, I'm now a woman. You know what I would try to do? Compete against the dudes. Why? Because that's empowering. Oh, you don't want to do that? Why? Why? Hello? Anybody? Because it's easier, damn it. <laughs> Flojo, what's the world record in the, in the 100? 10, 4, 9, 10, 4, 8? What's it in, in, in 100 for men? 9, 5, 8? A damn second almost? Man, y'all better stop playing. And why use objective numbers? Because it's pretty easy to digest. I hate saying fair, but it's just not even right. Forget fair. It's not right. I have no issue with transgenders. I do have an issue with athletes. Mm. who are transgender trying to participate, going from a transition of a man to a woman and now playing with the women. And I will say that. Y'all can try and Dave Chappelle me all y'all want. I am very clear on this. You could be a transgender, you could be the homie. But I'll be damned if a male at birth turns into a female and tries to compete against my daughters. She ain't out there. We, we, we out. Don't make this a human rights issue. This is a biological issue. Simple as that. Trust me, I am a man. And then I'm like, why can't the dudes who transition to women actually empower women and compete against the men? Since you so damn bad. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like if I were me, Marcellus, and then tomorrow I'm Martha, I change up my gender, I'm now a woman. You know what I would try to do? Compete against the dudes. Why? Because that's empowering. Oh, you don't want to do that? Why? Why? Hello? Anybody? Because it's easier, damn it. <laughs> Flojo, what's the world record in the, in the 100? 10, 4, 9, 10, 4, 8? What's it in, in, in the 100 for men? 9, 5, 8? A damn second almost? Man, y'all better stop playing. And why use objective numbers? Because it's pretty easy to digest. I hate saying fair, but it's just not even right. Forget fair. It's not right. I have no issue with transgenders. I do have an issue with athletes who are transgender trying to participate, going from a transition of a man to a woman and now playing with the women. And I will say that. Y'all can try and Dave Chappelle me all y'all want. I am very clear on this. You could be a transgender, you could be the homie, but I'll be damned. You could be the homie. A male at birth <laughs> turns into a female you could and be tries to homie. compete against my daughters. She ain't out there. We, we, we out. Don't What's make up, this a human rights doing, issue. Bro? This is a biological issue. Simple as that. Trust me, I am a man. And then I'm like, why can't the dudes who transition to women actually empower women and compete against the men? Since you so damn bad. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like if I were me, Marcellus, and then tomorrow I'm Martha, I change up my gender, I'm now a woman. You know what I would try to do? Compete against the dudes. Why? Because that's empowering. Oh, you don't want to do that? Why? Why? Hello? Anybody? Because it's easy, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> Because it's easy. what's the world record in the, in the 100? 10, 4, 9, 10, 4, 8? What's it in, in, in the 100 for men? 9, 5, 8? A damn second almost? Man, y'all better stop playing. And why use objective numbers? Because it's fair, but it's just not even right. Forget fair. It's not right. I have no issue. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to welcome everybody for those of, uh, for those of you that are uh, uh, new to the show. For those of you that don't know who I am, what's up? My name is Alvin. Also known as Project 8020. Welcome to Simple Shit TV. Uh, Marcellus Wiley, um, uh, previously of the NFL, had a tweet. It wasn't that controversial, to be honest with you. But um, he did touch on something that I've been thinking for a long time. And I felt like, you know what? Why not take this opportunity to highlight it? Um, for those of you that don't know, Marcellus Wiley also has a YouTube channel. Um, it is right here. So if you haven't already done it, go check the man out. Now I gotta be real. Um, you know, sometimes, uh, sometimes I think he gets a little bit, a little bit lax on how he sees, 
um, kind of uh, African American issues. Sometimes I think uh, a lot of times brothers kind of pander to the pander to the uh, kind of pander to the to white folks to to make it so that he's um, um, digestible. Uh, usually when they've been kind of at that upper epsilon, epsilon, epsilon of, uh, of, uh, the economy, he doesn't, he doesn't kind of understand what it's like down on the, on the, at the ground level, but needless to say, I have um, no issue with great, uh, he has a great insight, great input. Uh, so check the man out. Um, I want, but anyways, he, he, um, he speaks on this transgender thing. I want to cover just uh I want to just cover what he says here and in addition to that I want to add some uh some context to um to what he's uh to what he's saying because the uh transgender argument is is kind of dumb in my honest opinion and uh if I had to say it's the beginning of the end for uh female sports if they continue to do what they've been doing but um but you know we're gonna let him you know have uh mr marcellus kind of rock a little bit and tell us how he feels about about some of these things and we're gonna just jump off and i will probably hop in here and uh kind of interrupt him every once in a while but um this is only a short video it's only a couple of minutes long but after that we're just gonna follow up and uh, i don't plan on keeping you guys here for very long uh we're just gonna follow up and i'm gonna add a little bit of context or a little bit of texture into what he's saying uh, just to give a little bit of, um, I, I don't know. It just seems that people are, are, are not thinking about this transgender in the sports, um, very well, or, or they're not looking at it from the, the proper way. So let's let Marcel transgenders. I do have an issue with athletes who are transgender, trying to play, trying to participate, uh, going from a transition of a man to a woman and now playing with the women. And I will say that. Y'all can try and Dave Chappelle me all y'all want. I am very clear on this. You could be a transgender. You could be the homie. Matter of you fact. You could be the homie. This is who I know that's transgender. Uh, I know. This fool don't know nobody that's transgender. <laughs> Stop the cap. <laughs> Stop the cap. Stop the cap, Marcellus. I love you, bro. But you don't know nobody that's transgender. Oh, Let's keep okay. going. Uh, one in my circle, uh, loosely though, whatever. Cap, come, come, don't come lie. over and kick it, dog. Um, but I'll be damned. <laughs> I'll be damned. Cap, if a male at birth turns into a female and tries to compete against my daughters, she ain't out there. We, we, we out. We are out. We are out and don't get, don't make this a human rights issue. This is a biological issue. Simple as biological. That. Trust me. I am a man. <laughs> and trust me, if, if there was a one woman's NFL right now, and you know, I'm 48, I'm way past my prime <laughs> facts, 48 years old. If there was a woman's NFL, I could transition and play in that league and make the Pro Bowl. I guarantee you. <laughs> I guarantee you. My hamstrings would tear every other game. I'll be Zion Williamson out there barely playing, but I'll be an all-star starter like Shout him. Zion. <laughs> I ain't playing no games. Dog, do you know what? My wife is jacked. She's 40 years old. Jacked. Six-pack and all. Jacked. Should I be a dirtbag and look his wife up? Nah, I'll let it go. I'll let it go. Man, please. Go. <laughs> I can't even arm wrestle her. Man, please. The stuff she asked me to lift that she can't lift, I'm like, this ain't heavy. Now, maybe she playing me. But the point is, come on, y'all. Don't care. She's probably playing them. Care how many hormones and drugs and all that. Look, as a transition, be a, be a, go from man to woman, woman to man. But, but. What's up, man and woman, How you doing, bro? Don't compete against the girls because you're not competing against the Wiley girls. Nope, nope, nope. I will protest. Damn it. And I think that's the way it should be for obvious reasons. I can't believe there's even like another side to this conversation. Big and facts. then I'm like, why can't the dudes who transition to women actually empower women and compete against the men? Great Since you're so damn bad. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Great point. Like, that's what I would do. Like, if I were. Me, Marcellus, and then tomorrow, 
I'm Martha. I changed my name. I changed up my gender. I'm now a woman. You know what I would try to do? What are you trying to do? against the dudes. Why? Because that's empowering. Oh, you don't want to do that? Why? Oh, why? Hello? Anybody? Because <laughs> it's easier, damn it. Because it's easier. <laughs> Flojo, what's the world record in the, in the 100? 10, 4, 9, 10, 4, 8? What's it in, in, in 100 for men? 9, 5, 8? A damn second almost? Man, y'all better stop playing. We're going to talk about I it. I use objective numbers because it's pretty easy to digest. We're going to talk about it. This is not an issue. Y'all not don't hit me with no tweets like uh, that dude did. <laughs> don't hit me with none of that. Because I would just... I'm not backing down from that. My daughters will not compete against no dude. And then some of the injuries and issues that come from it, beyond the dominance, and yeah. not all of them dominate. Because look, there are some there are some dudes that turn into girls and can't compete with the girls. I ain't saying that. Facts. But the ones who are, oh, they eating. Big facts. That's part of it. Big facts. We writing a record book, and it's like, oh, yeah, dude, come on, let me. Compete against your Rewriting the record books. Men who become women, you compete against them. Look, I've been to track meets. I've been to competitions before. It's just, I've been to track meets before. Nobody was competing against somebody. Boom. What's up, Joe? How you doing, bro? Hey, what's up? I'm doing well. Uh, salute to you oh, in the chat. <laughs> yeah, man. What's up? I was, I, Go ahead. I was trying to. I was. I was trying to wait because uh, I ordered some food. I'm too lazy to cook right now, but. <laughs> I'm gonna try try to wait until it came, and then I joined it, and then join the stream. But I, I, was, I was just like, I was watching it, so I'm like, yeah, man, well hop, in. <laughs> hop in. I'm at, I'd like, I'd like to get your uh, your opinion on some of this stuff. Like, so what do you? Um, I mean, did you did you play sports yourself? Yeah. Um, what uh, you uh, mind me asking? What sports you played? Uh, just basketball strictly. Gosh, you just basketball. And in, in, in uh, junior high and high school, That's I was on a team. Yeah. That's what's up. Well. Part of the reason why I think that this is such a such a um, an interesting thing, and, and it being the end of female sports as we know it, um, is that they ignore biology, which is the kind of messed up part about this whole thing. And you know, I know that everybody wants to pretend like you know everybody and everything is equal, but we're not. You know, men are built, you know, different, bigger, stronger, faster. We are built for sport. We're built for activity, right? We're made that way. Not to say that women can't compete at a high level, just that, you know, when we're talking about competing at the highest level of everything, um, men, just be, based on, you know, how we're built, uh, we're better at everything. And um, I wanted to kind of to illustrate that um, what we have here is we've got world records now. This is how dumb this argument is, right? So Leah Thomas is that uh, the swimmer, the the them that went from uh, transition from male to female. Yeah. I'm and he, he was, she was uh, ranked 454th amongst men in the NCAA. And when she, asterisk, <clears throat> um, won her championship last year. She won by like almost 30 seconds. Like, so, so she went from being 454th in the NCAA and men to top woman by 30 seconds. Like that's how much of a gap there was between. And, you know, again, I think people want, they forget about the nature of sport. It's like bigger, stronger, faster. No woman will be able to, no matter how much testosterone she takes, will be able to jump into the men's space and beat natural born men at sports. Not likely to ever happen. However, you take a man who is subpar at best Make him do some, even if he does the whole, uh, you know, therapy or whatever, can go down to women's sports and beat the crap out of them. And therein lies the problem. So what I just kind of wanted to touch on real fast is that is that we've got ourselves what world women out uh, uh, world records 
And this is just track and field because I think that this is kind of a fair, you know, there's no other person involved. It's just you, you know, it's a race against time, start, finish, you know, pretty easy. But, you know, 10, 4, 900 meters, uh, 2134, 200 meters, 4760. These are women's outdoor, right? And then you've got men outdoor. 958, 199, or 1919, 4303. There is not a single record here where a woman beats a man. Not a single one. Nowhere. And that's not a single one. And and this is the reason why I I kind of I'm kind of like I'm letting this thing go on because it's gonna show the differences between men and women biologically. Yeah. And and, and who's gonna suffer the most is the women. (laughs) Is the women. Absolutely. Uh, just per things. What's up, Clarence? How you doing, bro? We rolling. Absolutely. Um, just pearly things was on vice. Uh, she was on that episode. Um, and they did touch on, on that transgender episode and they touched on this for a split second. And, you know, it was interesting how they like jumped on her when she, uh, when she, uh, was talking about, um, how her experience as a, um, as a, as a, um, as a female athlete, and it was just like the all the way that all the women kind of jumped on her was just un freaking believable. It was unbelievable. Isn't it bullshit Broken that Blade, some company you, Broken Blade? How you doing, bro? Hey, what's up? Uh, getting over food poisoning. Nothing in that bar. <laughs> oh man, that's I'm sorry to hear that, bro. Salute, by the way, Broken Blade. Yeah, Constantly, man. Bro. I was, uh, I was, I felt like I was getting kind of run down and coming down with something. And I had to, I had to put myself to bed at like nine o'clock yesterday or borderline, um, last night. But, um, let me see if I can. Yeah. Um, because, uh, you know, we just kind of get run down, but I, I, I thought that the Marcellus Wiley part was relevant. I thought he was, you know, what he was saying was relevant just because, what he was that that protection that women talk about they don't get or they don't have right he said his his thing was like my daughters will not be competing against those kind of guys right and like again i i the the reason why i'm using this as an example because i I was you know there's a lot of different ways we could look at this but we're always told that black men don't aren't protectors or we're not protecting our women or not protecting so on and so forth and this is a perfect example of a man protecting his family by not letting his you know children or making a point to say that my children aren't going to participate in any kind of a sport with a biological man because having them participate in a sport with a biological man is dangerous it's, it's hazardous to their health still a man and, i mean there's no there's no getting around it i mean listen i'm i'm a traditional conser- socially conservative black male and the fact that i have to say that and because it's like i'm it's common sense it's just like it's a biological male you yeah. could take hormone therapies or whatever but the, the fact that the matter is you're dealing with a, a science like it just a, a complete scientific advantage that men have over women we have a large we have a more thicker bone density we have larger muscles we could we i think they said that the the average man's strength, like the average man, the guy who doesn't even just work out is like what 10 times stronger than that of a female strength, mm-hmm. like his hand strength alone. And it's just like, like, like these are things like, this is the problem sometimes living in the first world nation is this when you have, when you allow, cause men really ain't pushing for this. It's mostly women. When you allow to listen to women and just have this whole like free societal thing going on. It's just like, it comes to a point where it's going to start like you want to be this independent type chicks and allow to change your genders and do all this. You don't realize that you're, you, you, you're alienating your own men from protecting you and having a, and having a, a normal, a normal functioning like realm. <laughs> Cause it's and at that point, it's just like, who, who's going to, who, who's going to, who's going to, who's going to protect you at that point? Nobody. Nobody. And this is what this black man is doing, protecting his family. And then people want to get mad. And it's just. Yeah. Oh, oh, we don't protect. We don't protect. Right. We don't. We 
<laughs> we're not protectors. We don't protect. And when somebody does, but this is the, this is what protection looks like, though, right? It's prevention. You know, uh, uh, again, I think we oftentimes don't don't get a uh, don't we don't get credit for what protection really is. Anybody that happens to listen to this on a replay, protection is prevention. Right. Protection is prevention. I'm not going to wait until something happens to you to try to protect you. Right. Like I'm going to say, hey, babe, that skirt's a little short. Like we're going somewhere where there's kind of, you know, it's going to be kind of a sketchy neighborhood, you know, yada, yada, yada. Like there's all these different reasons why X, Y, no problem. X, Y or Z, you know, th th you know, babe, why don't we do this instead of that? Right. That's protection. Right. right? But instead. You want to wear whatever you want to wear, do whatever you want to do. Get me out here in the wilderness with these, with these, <laughs> with these, these grizzly bears, which you wear next to nothing. And then you're going to go pick a fight <laughs> and, then, and then make me have to fight my way out of it. And like, and that's kind of what I like, again, that's how I want to kind of tie this into, to how, you know, we, how we're going. Go ahead, Brooklyn. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, uh. Yeah, but it reminds me of a story uh, one of my all-time favorite comedians, the late, great uh, Patrice O'Neill, uh, told the story how uh, his girl was getting into an argument with this guy on the street. He saw who was playing out. He just turned and walked away. And she stopped in the middle of the argument and chased him down. Like, wait, wait, what are you doing? Uh, where, where are you going? Nobody could, yeah, yeah, what could he have done? <laughs> Leave her ass. Yeah. yeah. Leave her. You know what I mean? Like lever. Um, yeah, this, uh, what I wanted to get to, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Let's see if I can, I don't know if I queued it up to the right spot or not. <clears throat> Cause this kind of falls into what it I was should be allowed about. into athletic spaces there we because go. I don't think it's a fair, um, I think we, as female athletes, we work so incredibly hard for the little opportunity there is in women's sports. Would this be a and that is a great point, right? Um, shout out to Pearly Things, uh, just because, like I said, this conversation was relevant. I think this is probably dog, and this is the part that annoys me about this. And I, I get YouTube is is YouTube or whatever, and everybody wants to, you know, the the whatever. This might have been the most one of the most important parts of the entire interview, the most important parts of the entire entire interview and dialogue, because for a couple of different reasons. One, you've got an actual athlete that does it that's in it that understands the training that understands the the um you know the, the 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 sacrifice you have to make the early mornings the weight room the all that kind of stuff and is explaining from a female's perspective from a female's perspective how difficult it is and why it's difficult and to see the pushback is unbelievable and the crazy part about it is is the one that gives the most pushback Ain't got no goddamn legs. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not laughing because she ain't got no legs. I'm laughing because she's the one that was like, "Watch, you'll see here." Hold on. Dude, the iron, the iron. Yeah, like, Wait, no hold, on, hold, on, hold, on, hold on, hold on. Um, hold on. How about oh, should trans women be included in feminist conversations? How about in women's spaces? Yes, they're women. <laughs> What's the question? The very first thing. <laughs> Trans women are women. Um, so I, I want to come at this from the um, position of an athlete. Hold oh, on, let's, one more time. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. What's the out in women's spaces? Yes, they're women. What's the? <laughs> this is why I don't talk to women. Girl, Trans women are women. Trans women are women. This is why I don't talk to women. <laughs> Facts. You can't make this shit up. <laughs> you can't make this shit up. Um. Now the 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 guy in the the blonde the the the, the white haired person is a a man a male or was a biological man male. I don't know. I don't want to mix up the 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 genders or get myself into trouble. Um, trying to be good about this stuff. And then this person here is, I believe, a biological man or was a biological man. Um. And uh, this person is a biological woman, but she seems um, she's missing some uh, appendages. Yeah, 
So I, I want to come at this from the um, Shout position out to Pearly. of an athlete. Oh, Jesus. Um, so, so Who I, said that? Hold on. Who said that? Hold I on. play semi I want to come at this from the um, position of an athlete. Oh, Jesus. Um, was that was that the the, the the dude in the white the white haired dude? So I, I want to come at this from the um, position of an athlete. Oh Jesus! Um, yeah. Well, so so yeah. I play semi pro basketball, semi pro volleyball. So when it comes to like athletic space, mind you, nobody gets this part. It was a white man that's over here de denigrating these women. By the way, that's a white man. That's an original white man. Just wanted to let everybody know. Everyone's talking about look, everyone's talking about trans rights and like all this like in in being involved, da 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 da. But the two people that are on the panel that are not biological women are two white men. Leah Thomas won a championship in swimming, a white man biologically. Yeah, pushing it. Don't get it twisted. So all these females is so it's it's like you guys don't even understand what you're doing. <laughs> Who is the trans woman that was in UFC? That uh, I don't know the name, but I know with the pink hair. I think I saw, yeah, yeah I saw that. I saw that fight, and she was laying it on him. He yeah. or, or her, her, her fight. I don't know, but it would no effect whatsoever. He was just eating them like it, like it wasn't even a thing. Walking right through those punches, walking right Dude, through Superman those punching haymakers, everything. And to Body be real, kicks, to be real, was effective. To be real, he took way more punishment than he should have. I'm like, yo, no wonder you went to the other side. Like, yeah. you know, you know, what I'm saying, no wonder you went to the other side because because a biological dude would have would have pieced you up, no problem. Uh, last name Fox. I'll look. I'll look that up. Thanks, Solo Dolo. I appreciate you. Spaces. I don't think that trans women should be allowed into athletic spaces because I don't think it's a fair. Um, I think we, as female athletes, we work so incredibly hard for the little opportunity there is in women's sports. Would this be a like, barrier? For like you this, there's no barrier. There's less opportunity in some industries. That's, That's what a of barrier is. There's less. That's just so rich coming from the bitch with no legs. <laughs> <laughs> it's like shut up like let her talk like you you're not involved in this conversation you're not participating in any sports man like let's just be real like you shouldn't be speaking but okay it's not no 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 it's That's based on the market me. okay hold on hold on, on guys based, okay so again we work very hard for the little uh, opportunity there is in the facts. space because we're not as entertaining as the men. Sorry, we're just not. And so it's like, you're gonna take the little opportunity that we're given. And the problem is like, it, we can't compete. We can't, like I, I'm six foot. If I go up against a six foot guy and I play not basketball really with him, he's gonna body me. And even what happens even if, if I go even up if, against you? Even, 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 body even, 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 even if I have years more of training, and so it's like you're taking away the little opportunity that we're given and we all work so hard for and you're just giving it back to biological guys. It's like this will be the end of women's sports. Boom. <laughs> Shout out to Bernie. That's who suffers the most. I mean, the, the, yeah. I mean the, you notice, you notice the, the men, we ain't, tri we ain't really tripping like that. Of course, we don't agree with it, but we ain't tripping because they're like, okay, yeah. fuck around come and find in. out. Yeah, fuck around and find in. out. Come on in here. <laughs> Come on here, because every time, every, like I've I've been in every every all the way up from you know elementary school, you know into middle school, into high school, into college, there was always one or two girls that thought that they were good enough or hard enough to play, right? And the thing of it is, is that Sorry. it didn't even have to be me. There was some boy on the team that had no problem putting that female in her place, like that her very like existence or the fact that she had space on the field at the same time he was offended by and had absolutely yeah, no, yeah, problem. The chick. <laughs> no problem putting the putting the drop drop in a female Check no problem. I had somebody like in my group too called him bovice that's what we call him. <laughs> see see there's <laughs> always bovice. one or two guys that have no problem they're like oh you want to play football okay Come on, we gonna let you play football and have absolutely no problem dropping a dime on a female. And the thing of it is, is like that's what happened every single time. You know, well, Oklahoma drills, right? Oh, oh, Oklahoma drills. Like, come on, you can you can get some. So like, it just it 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 kind of bums me out that you know. It, I mean, it's like, even, go ahead. Like, like like there was an expedition match between Serena Williams and and a, and a male uh in a male um tennis guy. I forget what it was, I forget what his name was, but he was kind of like a scrawny looking dude. Serena Williams is built like a damn like a linebacker. yeah like a linebacker, right? Yeah. And she was getting hammered by this guy, and they were just laughing about. it. I was like, yeah, of course I'm gonna. And she even admitted, yeah, of course I'm gonna get I'm gonna get 
I'm I'm gonna get cleaned up by a regular biological guy. I don't have the the, the muscle no. power, the manpower, the no, anything they respect like that. Her for knowledge, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> she was on um if I can find the interview fast enough, um here in a second, she did an interview with um Colbert, I believe. And I think that he tried to like pitch the idea of her yeah. playing the biological man. And she was like, no, 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 no. I don't want to play no man. <laughs> like, I don't want to play a man. I don't want to, like a man would whip me up. It's not even close. And I think even he, during the, is it her answer? I think he expected her to be like, oh, I'll whip a man up. Yeah, da, 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 da. And she was like, nah. <laughs> sure, yeah, she's a black woman too, because the other one's being mostly fooled by this, but you know. Yeah. And that's the stuff would be fooled by it either way. Yeah. <laughs> huge problem. Huge problem. Have you Eli, tried confidence? Uh, Eli, hold on. Have you tried confidence from the woman with no legs? There's not an anime woman. You can't just Get, you your know ass up and run, so get your ass up and run a 100-meter dash. I want to see it. That is so crazy. That Do you have the confidence? It's so delusional that she can actually say a thing like this. They just they hate being wrong about stuff. Like, right. Confidence can't all work so hard for. This and you're it. just giving it back to biological guys. It's like, this will be the end of women's sports. Have Eli, you tried confidence? Uh, Eli, hold on, Minnie. Sorry. Eli. Have you tried confidence? Confidence can't make me bench what a guy benches. I don't confidence can't make you me guys six, are seven. So now, shout out to this lady. I forget her name. She's also a YouTuber. Um, and she uh she is kind of in the men's rights space. This uh this the, the woman here on the on the far right of the screen here. Um she's a. Uh, She's got a YouTube channel also, and she's kind of on the men's rights side of things too. So shout out to her. She's actually a pretty, she's a cool creator. She makes some good content also. So, you know, if you ever just find yourself looking for like, I don't know, male centric female content that, that we could like double down on and use as, as, as a, a ammunition in our own endeavors. Mm -hmm. um, she's one of those where you could actually use, I'll, I'll find her channel and I'll try to shoot. Oh, her. hostile. Oh. She's sharing her and experience can in the success. No, she's sharing. And I'd have to go. No, she's yeah. not. She's, she's, she's a woman who's had a <laughs> trans misogyny from the white man. <laughs> That's kind of an oxymoron, isn't it? Or am I tripping? Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, it is. That's the thing. Like, that's the part that gets me. I'm like, we're playing this clown show and this whole, like, we're doing this song and dance and everyone's talking about inclusion and the white and, and stick it to the white man and whatever. But the white man is running the show. And it's like, yo, what is going on? Like, how is it that, how is it that, what's up, man? Black Ronnie, what's hey, up, what's bro? Up, how are you? Man. Absolutely like so record. how is it that everyone is is like is so like like they're they're in just they're in there's no word for it it's it's so strange it's 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 a, a time, you guys are so and look how the how order just disappeared like it just goes out the window right it's like that's what, that's what happens when the, 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 the own existence and yet when a woman is sitting here telling you i feel as though this is unfair and this is compromising and this situation is not helping women you guys are like meh, meh, meh. but when you're like i'm a black person that did this 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 and this then it's valid and, and fair and viable eli i mean she shouldn't have she should have been like i'm the girl with no legs she should have jumped on the girl with no legs but <laughs> why she got to jump on the black girl but whatever <laughs> i want to give you the chance to respond um so this is basically a joke of a talking point everyone has biological advantages in sports how, how tall are you um uh, five eleven and a half i'm yeah, tall i'm i'm five foot eight mm -hmm. i am a trans woman i you're you a white guy testosterone in your system yeah which yeah. is the equivalent of the steroids yeah mm -hmm. Guy, you know what? Can I here, here I'm, I'm starting to ask. So look, check it out. For panel, um, because like you know, we're all we're we're all friends here. We all kind of we you know we we're doing this together, we're working together. Asking questions on a panel, asking someone questions on a panel is kind of rude, right? If we're friends and we're friendly and we're not trying to like, you know, I'm like, Oh, that one movie that, you know, did you see that one movie? That's kind of like one thing, right? But when someone's like, they try to flex on you about like, they're like, did you read that book? Da, 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 or, you know, this author, da, 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 da. like somebody that, you know, you, that's kind of rude. It's kind of, a, it's, 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 a, it's a, it's a flex in a way. And like, and, and like, it, it's like, it's almost like a, it's like throwing a shot. 
So yeah, like, sort of aggression. So, yeah. so I, I would, I would, yeah, passive aggressive. It actually 100% it is, is passive, it is aggressive. passive aggressive. Yeah, definitely. Absolutely. Is. But welcome, Mad Black Road, into the broadcast. Yeah. What's nope. up, bro? How are you doing? I'm, I'm trying to get better about letting it, having everybody make their intro and, and come in and say something. How, how are you doing today, bro? I'm doing good, man. Today was a regular day, man. I'm just trying to work on my computer. Um, okay. I got this mini PC. Okay. And uh, it's really powerful, but it keeps crashing on me until I play Madden. <laughs> you said it's crashing until you play Madden or after you yeah. play Madden? After I play Madden, like, or if I get close to like the fourth quarter, it just crashes. Well, that's not. That pisses me off. No, but it sucks. does play. It does play games, though, but it just. Well, I mean, it's just not pal. It's just you, you, need, you need a gaming PC for that. I gotta build one. Like, I gotta get uh, a PC. I built yeah. it. Yeah, it's too, too much money. Too yeah, dead, no. did you? <laughs> it's like nineteen thousand. Yeah. Like I saw, some, I saw the, 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 a low low cost one for like twenty five hundred. Yeah. Yeah. No, I. Like, God damn, and it glows and everything. Oh, it does all the do- all the glows, DVD doodads. Yeah, I look cool. like that looks dope. But that shit's yeah. it's big as fuck. Yeah, it's big as hell, and it costs twenty five hundred. Well, I'm gonna put that thing. Well, I'm gonna put that thing. I, if you saw my room right now, you were like, "What the hell are you gonna put that big ass?" Yeah. Well, well, me and my brother are in the game, and so we we just like we nerd out with like building PCs and games and all that. So oh, the, the, reason I like, the reason I like the mini PC is because it's small. I could just take it, put it in the bag. I'm out. With it, yeah. But it, and also, I like the fact that it has the um, Radeon two six. It's a Ryzen nine. Six nine hundred mm. HX, so it's, okay. it's, it's, it's with a CPU. Yeah, it's a powerful okay. CPU. I mean, G- okay. but the the GPU is the problem. So yeah. I might have to get an external one, a external GPU with a, a USB four port, and I just connect it in there, and then I could like cipher the GPU into that, and it won't have to run so hot. Yeah. That's the problem. It gets too hot. Yeah. If you play, yeah. oh, when, you t- when you touch it, yeah. it is hot, blazing yeah. hot. So well, they got the it's. No, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, I think it's being throttled, overheat throttling. Yeah, that's what I think. It's yeah, happening. you got those. Those where your what you usually have. Do your pinch points are your processing power, right? Um, mm-hmm. You've got uh, being able to move data, right? Mm-hmm. So being able to move data from one uh, one part of the computer to another, and then the other is heat generally right those are usually your three kind of right. things will limit your performance. So one thing will lock up on you it's another thing but um yeah, i honestly right. the only thing i've i do now i got my 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 laptop and then mac mini cuts through 4k video like butter <laughs> that's all i use it for that's it that's it yeah. editing video these days and like adobe stuff which is some bullshit but whatever like i'm not nearly fast enough but look at this dude white dude talking smack you would crush me. You would absolutely yeah. crush Bone me. density, wrist strength, yeah. muscle density. You can't switch those. Yeah, exactly. You would crush me. <laughs> he's like this making her, dude is he's making her point. Yes, lighting and reflection. I yeah. watched deflection, a brother. woman. I watched growing up. I watched a five foot five black, 16 year old black boy crush a 21 year old 5'11 woman in a fight. Yeah. He put 100%. in a full Nelson and made her eat dirt. Absolutely. Like, no, I mean, literally made her eat dirt. We were all yeah. cracking up. He was 16. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's not even close. No, it's even not close. even close. Not even close. You know, I, you, know, I think the, you know, I think the issue is, especially in this country, hmm. women never see it. In other countries, they they see it. They see the difference. Right. Like, like in yeah. Middle Eastern countries, they ain't afraid to put them things on them. Yeah. <sighs> Facts. You're right. You're right. You're right. They the not enough of them been clipped. That yeah, uh they, they that um, there was that uh that video clip that uh, Uncle D played where that girl was talking smack to those dudes on the bus <laughs> and boy jumped up and pieced her up and gave her a clean one to the jaw, stopped her immediately, and then he stopped and she stopped, and yeah. they were both just kind of standing there and she was shocked. You could tell she ain't never been hit like that before. It was like she it was like she came, she came right out the sunken place, like <laughs> <laughs> Yo, facts, I, facts, know, I'm not even for I'm not even for hitting women. Like I'm six foot six. Yeah. And around in 350. I think I'm yeah, I'm 350 now. Hey, uh, three, uh, yo, so to me, I'm not even a physical person like that. But I've come yeah. to the realization 
to I'm going to have to be around these broads, these modern broads, because they yeah. really think they Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Yeah, facts. Her power is her. The reason she could do the thing that she does is because she got magical. That she has magical <laughs> energy coming through her. That's the only reason <laughs> she has that. They think they bite. They think they're the bionic woman. She's the bionic with parts of her body are cybernetic. No yeah. physical one. Wonder Woman made for magic. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah, big facts. These are not average women. No, but average women get hurt bad. What? They don't like I said, man. Um, it's unfortunate. It's just that for real, like uh, uh, womanism, you know, ethnism doesn't uh, account for biology, and um, and they, they, it really, they, and they really hurt. don't take into account the amount of restraint men practice when dealing with them, because we know how what we're capable of, but they don't understand that it's gotten to a point where they're just like they're actually telling, they're actually daring, they're daring us to do it. Yeah, it's just they, like as a man, we're just completely avoiding the talking to them or doing anything with them because just like we I can't, know, I can't do. Yeah, we know yeah. That, can't do anything. Listen, you know, we, we know that the physicality of a woman, yeah, cannot match a male casualty, no matter the size. When yeah. I hear a guy got beat up, I know he was practicing extreme restraint. Sure. No, I, I said this before. I watched Ronda Rousey. In her early days, before she jumped into UFC, mm. get 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 murked by a sixteen year old a sixty year old judo master, mm. Mm. Great, mm. Uh, in his in his sixties entering his seventies. Mm. He murked her up. Yeah, he, I, think, I think it's Labelle, something Labelle. Yeah, and he was showing her stuff, and he was murking her up. Jean Labelle. Yeah, and he yeah, was he showing her stuff, and he literally like put her gi and choked her out <laughs> yeah you know what i'm saying and then on top of that i watched a 60 year old soccer player straight up straight up screw around screw them screw these girls around on yeah. the soccer field and then yeah. score yeah like it was nothing a professional 60 year old soccer yeah. player yeah and and it's, it, it, and it's just so many and don't even start with the 15 year old boys and uh um, you the under I think it was the under sixteen, yeah, under eighteen. You uh, um soccer um uh, boys playing soccer, yeah, playing, playing the USA women's soccer team, yeah, and, and beating them, smacked them up, yeah, yeah, and then they left, and then the boys had to get tired <laughs> and play and just have no focus, yeah. That's what let the girls win. Yeah, I'm sure they, they got, got bored and got yeah, and got bored. Okay. All right. So let me, let me, I'm going to, I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you a, 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 I'm going to, cause Snuggle said, do you believe in equal rights for equal lefts? All right. So here we go. I'm going to give you a scenario. Um, Mad Black Ronin. All right. So here's what we got. So you are in a, um, you're at the DMV. Okay. You're at the DMV and your number gets called. Okay. And you go up to the, to the counter and the lady that was before you or came that was just before you that just left, she comes back with her paper or whatever. And she goes to push past you and grabs you by the shoulder and spins you out the way. Right. And say she's about, uh, let's say average black woman right now is 187 pounds, mm -hmm. unfortunately. So say she's about, you know, so that's a good size, you know, that's a good size lady, 187 pounds. Like yeah. I'm probably like only like five pounds more than that right now by 190, 95. So, 180 side pass, she spins you out the way, right? And then she gives you a little shove. What do you do? I shove her back. I shove her back. I shove her back. Even one third of my strength, it's going to send her flying. Facts. Big facts. Our broken blade. Same scenario. But not only does she shove you, but she throws it, throat tries to catch you with a clean right hand. And you slip it. You know what I'm saying? So you do see it coming and you slip it. You're like, ah, I, you know, like you slip it. Do, do you fire back or do you let it go? I be in cuffs, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Say what? I be in cuffs. You're right. So you, so you, so you slip it and just let it pass. You let it go. <sighs> you slip the punch and let it go. 
All right. Because pushing her back and, and 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 doing anything, but if she pushes you, pushes back, I see that. All yeah. right. So yeah, exactly. So, because self defense, because she put hands on me first. At facts. She put hands on me first. And then if I have to go to jail, I tell them check the cameras. I'm like, you need because those cameras in these places, check the cameras. But if she if she just like kind of like there, there are things I'll let go. Yeah. As long as you don't put your hand, if you want to curse at me, I'll just curse at you back and keep them yeah. and whatever. But second if, you put hands. Yeah, but I would not put hands first. I've learned in my <sighs> lifetime never to put hands on people first. If they really about it, if they're really about their life, they will come at you either way. You know what I'm yeah. saying? That's what I've learned in my life. So I'm never the one that throws hands first. It's just not yeah. my MO. I'm not I'm not the one that's gonna throw hands. Or, but I will say some slick shit back if you say slick shit to me. So I believe in um, a mutual force being the same force with Na- match it, m- match that same force. Yeah. But, yes, but if you come at me physically, and then it's not, it's just innate. My strength, I'm just overly just stronger than a woman know. or a little yeah. girl. But yeah. I'm not gonna go too far and you know use See, the. the, the See you, you too. Know, big. This yeah. game is not that fun because you could you just be you you yeah, you'd flick it just about anybody out the way, anyways. All right, so Gerald, I've had to, I've had to. All right, all right Gerald. So so same scenario, 187, 187 pounds. So average black woman, hundred eighty seven pound woman. You're up at the counter. You've been waiting all goddamn day. You're annoyed. You don't want to be there. Nobody wants to be there. She comes, push past you, spins you around, and then she fires a right hand and connects. Boom. Right. What do you do? Deadly force is authorized. <laughs> Let her have it, huh? Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm a firm believer in what Mad Black Rona said. If you, I practice the art of self defense. If you put hands on me, I, I, and I f- tr- firmly believe men should be taught this. If somebody puts their hands on you, keyword somebody, somebody, anybody, you have the absolute right to defend yourself. Absolutely. But in no Absolutely. circumstances do you become the aggressor unless yeah. you've been aggressed on. Yeah. Yeah. Stand your ground. I might I might stand in one place, but if we have a law like that in El Ohio, stand your ground. They yeah, come to you your know, property, I, hit them with the heat. <laughs> you know, when I was younger, I worked at a nightclub, LGBTQ nightclub. Um uh, as purpose? security. Well, the money was good, man. <laughs> okay. The money was good. The <laughs> money was hella good. Oh, yeah. Um yeah, they pay. They pay. Yeah, they, they pay, they man. Pay. So it, I kind of did. I, I kind of did. I was in college too. at the time. Yeah, and I was in college at the time, and I did. I, need, uh, I was broke. So I, okay. when they told me, they said how much. I said how much. Yeah. Oh, okay. So yeah, I worked at a nightclub. The, I'm gonna tell you this right now. The worst night of the week for me was Women Wednesday. Women Wednesdays. That makes sense. That was strictly. Um, lesbians at that in the club. That makes sense. It, if you want to see the most aggressive, feminist, radical feminist, um, man hating, yeah, uh, women, yeah. it was at that. It was on Wednesdays. Yeah, I had I had one bad night, really one bad night. For some reason, there was a girl that was coming in, and her stud girlfriend, ex girlfriend, was there. She was bringing her new girl that she was with to the club, and there was words inside. My, I worked the door, so I didn't know what was going on inside, mm. right? So they, they were kicked out. They were kicked out. Mm. The other squad from the squad inside kicked them out. Mm-hmm. And we, I escorted him to the door. The, the big, I escorted the big girl to the door, and I, and I had to escort the little girl to the door. Um, the little girl was with her girlfriend. They both were getting kicked out for causing commotion between mm-hmm. each other. I was at the, I was in the front door. I was talking to the little one, and mind you, she's a lips, she was what's called a lipstick. Her and her girlfriend are both <laughs> lipstick, and um, they look like something out of, they look something out of Cinemax, and um. <laughs> So I'm talking and I'm and I'm everything like that. And I'm kind of hoping maybe she's bi, you know, she's a little bi, whatever, right? <laughs> so I'm talking to her and I'm getting her story and she's upset that she's getting killed and her girlfriend, her girlfriend getting kicked out. She said her ex is the one who started everything, blah, 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 blah. So we're on the sidewalk, we're talking, 
And then I turn around, she crosses the street with her girlfriend. And I mean, they're a little bit down the block as they walk. It's it's more, it's less than a minute, less than a minute. I hear screaming and I see her, the the stud toward the, 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 the big fat stud, two of the big fat girls, the other studs, jumping these two little skinny girls, these two little skinny girls. So me and my partner, we run over there. We run over there to stop them. And I kid you not, I was trying to be as gentle and, <laughs> and you know, because they're all women. And I think one of them is a mom. And I was just trying to be, you know, get between them, stop them and everything like that. Again, it's, I didn't realize how um, burly stud, uh, stud women are. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, I mean, they can take a punch. I'll be they real. Can take, they yeah, can take they, a punch. They really yeah, can. They can. And, and also a push. <laughs> yeah. Right? A push one with one hand, and that really didn't budge too much. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then while they fight, everybody's fighting, me and my boy is trying to, uh, my boy Mike is trying to uh, stop it. One of the big studs pulls out a box cutter and slashes him from here to here Ooh. in the neck. See, man. Like see, from here, like, yeah, like, from see. like back of here see. to here. See? It was blood all over his shirt. See? And, oh, no, 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 no. I'm sorry. Oh, I was honest. wrong. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. It was two cuts. Head. It was here to here and then right here as well. See? Yes, it's just right here too as well. So that's why you got to one everywhere. Gotta... And mind you, he's wearing a, 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 a his, he has a white t-shirt under the black shirt. He has a white uh-huh. t-shirt. It When he took off the black shirt later, it was soaked with his blood. Yeah, nah. I remember when nah. I saw his blood, when I saw his yeah. blood, yeah. all bets were off. I started yeah. swinging. Yeah. I was knocking these girls down. Clean out, yeah. Clean out. You, yeah, you gotta and you gotta knock them it, out. It's yeah, and the cops came, point, cops swarmed, me. arrested people, arrested yeah. people, and I never that right there changed. That's why I said that I would I've changed my view on that day. It was 2006, yeah. uh, uh uh April. That yeah. day changed my view on women forever. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I, I totally get that. I totally get that. Yeah, I don't. I don't really play around. I'm like, yo, you gotta, you have to, you have to immobilize the 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 threat immediately. You know, immediately, and then ask questions later. And obviously, I won't ever be the aggressor. You know, but you gotta, you gotta immobilize threats immediately because otherwise, you leave yourself open for and it's and I, like I bounced at a club too, and and that was the biggest thing. It's like. Whenever you have to put your hands, like if you have to make a decision to put your hands on somebody, if someone has to like leave the club, you can't rationalize with a uh, with a drunk person. So it's like it's just time to go, time to go. You got one time to ask me. I, I ask you nicely, then I'm I'm snatching people up out of there and like and you know by the collar like dragging people because I would rather that be the case than you get an opportunity to like set your feet and get a bead on me. You know what I mean? Can, I know what you mean. Can, can, can I make a comment about this real quick? Ab- absolutely. Well, black men, um, they're, they're they're the highest for the uh, DV when it comes to like when it comes to aggression between DV between black men and black women. Mm. Black women are in the statistics is proven that they're they're the aggressors. Yeah, a large percentage of the time. Yeah, a lot of times black men are victims of DV that is fatal to them. Yes, that yep. deletes them. Yes. That's how much restraint we practice. But at the same time, it's like we got to get this out of our heads. The, the biggest issue is we were in our community. It's a matriarchy. We revere women. Mama can do yeah. no wrong. Even yeah. even to the point where she, if she deletes you, she's still not wrong. Yeah. We got to get he that do? out of our heads. Yeah. What did he uncle. do? She must have, have done a, it for a reason. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I have an uncle I never met. Um, he, he was killed before I was even born. Um, I believe he was poisoned. Um, rumor has it he was poisoned back on the island, and uh, by his first, I think I don't know if it was his girlfriend or ex-wife, first ex-wife or whatever or whatever. Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah, he that story was kept away from me until I was at least eighteen, nineteen. Yeah, they use weapons. Poison it, is an interesting one. Yeah, yeah, poison is an interesting one. Let's let this let this this um man 
speak. <laughs> but also, Eli, you would never play at the level that Pearl plays because Facts. you would never get there. So let me give Facts. you a few more examples here, too. So Michael Phelps produced more lactic acid in his body, <laughs> which caused him to swim better than any of his competitors. This was widely celebrated. Oh, yeah, look at her the way she looked just a second ago. You're proving her point. So Michael Phelps produced more lactic acid in his body, which caused him to swim. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, did this bitch say anything I just said? Not any of his competitors. <laughs> oh boy! Why make a meme out of that, right? Yo, oh, I, look, I, this was widely celebrated, and nobody contested. Because the funny part about it is, it's the white man talking shit to him, which is the funny part. He actually. <laughs> I still he's, can't get over that part. He's actually huh? mansplaining. He's yeah. actually doing what's called mansplaining. Yeah. I get what she's trying to say, but you actually made this lady's cases even more credible because yeah. imagine if dudes, the dudes that come on, say, play basketball, going to WNBA, there's always going to be an edge. Yeah. We're always going to have an edge. It was strong, even when it comes to body checking, the way we body check is different than women yeah. body checking. It's so much thing that's different. It, so the, I, the, it's a, it's. I'm sorry to interrupt you. I mean, it, what it was messed up? It, what's messed up is just that the, the people that are are the ones that are leading these conversations or that are kind of drowning out everyone else are people that don't actually compete, don't actually do the work, don't actually like bang bodies with other people, right? Like with your. To. Yeah, anybody in martial arts, anybody in martial arts knows, right? Anyone in martial arts that has like had to like work with a woman or a woman that's worked with a man or a man that's worked with a woman that's actually had to tussle around a little bit understands how much stronger men really are. But what these girls don't understand is like, yo, if I really uncorked one, really put my ass into one and, and, and snapped one off on your chin, I would take your head clean off. Like it wouldn't even be, a, it wouldn't even be, it, it, it people like i even if i was in the right i would go i would end up getting taken to jail because of it and like that's the part that i think these girls don't understand and the, and i think it's just funny that they're letting the white dude talk shit to them <laughs> now this is in performance enhancing hormone so we all have different bodies and now i'm not saying that testosterone. hormones should participate <laughs> but testosterone. there are i mean every major, major medical and every major sports organization agrees that trans women who have been on hormones for between one and three years depending on the organization have the same competitive abilities that's that the study that you're referencing had like seven people participated in this Boom. Animation, Hold on. by the that way. I'm referencing several different studies and a trans woman <laughs> and a researcher. It's, it's getting this, personal. This I don't want thing, it to be personal. A lot of personal. us live in this space where we're told that our sure. opinions don't count because they're not the right kind of opinions. And we're constantly shouted over and talked over regardless of what we look like because there's one group in society that basically takes precedence and it's frustrating. So yeah, of course, <laughs> it's... <laughs> so you're right here. Well, that Yo, that right there... That that right there is the most disrespectful thing, because yeah. what you're doing is you're, you're being an a hole, you're being a hole without saying anything. Yeah, it, and 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 I'm not gonna lie to you, man. If a dude was to do that laugh type of laugh, mm. it would it would forget talking. It would forget talking or say, "Yo, man, cut it out." No, it's I'm walking behind you, smacking you back of the head. Yeah, like, the dead, like the, 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 for real, I'm I'm literally hauling off in the back of your head, yeah. like just straight with the hardest smack. Yeah, because like, how does that feel? Do you, you do you feel disrespected? Yeah, did I just put hands on you? Will, will your laugh disrespecting me? Yeah. What's good? What you want to do about yeah. it? So, but see, there's a low level threat of there's a low level like like Kevin Sam used to say, yeah. there's a low level threat. Of violence okay. between yeah. men who are trying to be civil to one another. So even uh, that laugh would have been like, "Yo, man, cut, yo, you, you better. You, we're gonna be having words, yeah. You know, outside and words meaning, yo, words were gonna lead to us yeah. getting busy. So, so um, when I see that 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 right there, that's that's women. Women do that yeah. shit to each other all the time. Yeah, and. And that and there's no con really consequence. I mean, the 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 the, the lady, lovely ladies, are trying to bring that type of consequence among women, but that always ends up getting them getting ostracized overall when they're too violent, and they don't even realize that. Like, like, that, like they they get hit. Oh, they, they, what, they what, 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 salute, Alan. What's up, bro? How you doing? 
Go ahead. Sorry, Gerald. Go ahead. Well, there's a reason, like the reason why you know a, a man would even do like well, the, like when a man does that, just laughs in, inherently. Like we just have the need to go over there and just sock him because the reason why is just men we have an innate, um, we have an innate, uh, we have it in we call it an innate feeling, oh. no, or 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 an innate instinct to uh, to reestablish order. We we view disrespect as order. Or yeah, we really disrespect as chaos, and what yeah. I notice about this whole room is just it's very chaotic, and this is yeah. what happens when men don't enforce order within I'm, society. Okay, and this is why I said that this should have been a woman, and I don't care how misogynist it sounds. Yeah, a woman would have been better off. Men are better off in the de debates than women when controlling. I mean, as hosts debating, yeah. like yeah. like I respect um, Pearly when she tries yeah. to hold debates. She does yeah. her really does her best and she also has men there, yeah. but she's out of depth. She's more of an interviewer than a host of debates because debaters yeah. will, um, they, especially when it comes to women, they will try to talk over each other. While, yeah. When what men do is that uh, we'll let them get that shit out. Like we'll let them go like this with each other and then we'll just jump in and be like, okay, let me tell you where you're wrong. Let me tell you yeah. where you're wrong. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So yeah. we're, better, we're better hosts of debates than women. And yeah. I'm not saying that women can't be hosts. I'm just saying yeah. that we do conflict better than yeah. women. We do well, what, what I, I, I would, I would guess, you know, part of it is it's poor, it's poor uh, uh, impulse control. Right. So the ability for someone to say and, and we can go back into old debates, old conversations that we've had, so on and so forth, where people were disagreeing or whatever. And it's one thing for a host to cut someone off to to drill down a point. Right. Because I think that 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 is uh, is acceptable. Um, and and, that, and I don't I don't believe that that's rude. So I always leave myself room for that. It's like I'll even tell someone like, hey, I might cut you off, but it's only because you might have been get on to something and you might have been rambling and I didn't get you back into or you were telling you had a good point and or maybe I want to redirect you. To, that's the host's resp host's responsibility. So they but sometimes it's like, you know, again, whenever the ladies, lovely ladies, they hear something that they don't like. You know, it's like they instantly got to fire back and like stop you from saying it like like yelling over you is going to make it not true. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And it's like that ends up always being like what ends up happening. And you're like, why are you like what like what's really going on here? But here, I'm gonna let this rock for another second or two. It's, it's frustrating <laughs> because when we try to talk about it, we get shouted down. We get so. told to be quiet. We we get we get spooked down too as well. So okay, there's hostility there for plenty of women. Let's try to make this. I think it's just funny that she was even like in that moment, that passive aggressive bull. Like we can't see her. It's like, yo, that's crazy. It's an opportunity to speak. <laughs> you're literally a white woman from Australia. You live in a bubble, and you're pissed that voices that have been silenced forever finally can be heard. That's why they have. When it goes to sign language, you lost the debate. As soon as it goes, as soon as she started insulting, you lost. <laughs> done. Right. You're done. 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 Ooh, that's you know that's a good rule to 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 build into the into my into the show. I, like I said, I told you I'm, I'm I'm developing the debate show. I'm almost I'm almost ready to roll it out. I was working on graphics today, so we we're getting closer. We're getting we're getting closer to it. So uh, you guys will. I, I've been I've been talking all that smack about it, but I wanted to like make sure I had all the rules. I try. I've been trying to have some clocks and stuff to kind of put in so that we have like timers on the screen and just I've just needed some extra graphics that take a little bit of an extra time to to, to put together. But have the it's coming. I promise. Conversation about transgender women mm -hmm. participating in sports and I wanted to allow more people to participate. Jordan, I wanted to hear from you. So I am not a professional athlete. You don't <laughs> say. say. <laughs> the closest thing I have ever done really? athletic was I yeah, used to do competitive say. show choir when I you don't have the jawline for it. Nah, uh, we, yeah. I was younger. We, I'm, not and, even, um, I'm not even going to do I that. don't feel really qualified to make carte blanche statements about whether or not trans women should compete in every kind of sport. And I understand that that is kind of, that's a hard pill to swallow. And, and, and here's what I want to, and here's, no one is saying that they can't compete. And this is kind of, this is the point I wanted to actually get to this point here. And this is why I went to the, the Olympic stuff. And we're going to come back to this in a second. The point is, is that it's not that you can't compete. It's competing against 
natural born or biological women is the problem, right? If we have men's, women's, and what the fuck, excuse my language, sorry, <laughs> then that's then that's what we'll do. You know what I'm saying? Because then that way it's like y'all could just go and whatever whatever ends up coming out of that is just whatever ends up coming out of that, right? But like to allow a trans man to participate with biological women and allow him to take um biological women's like world records and things of that nature that's i think it's, it's it's trash it's, it's trash foul, but, trash. You, know, but, but you know what i don't have a lot of empathy because mm. it's the same group of women same group of women are the ones who were when we men were standing up and saying no 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 the same group of women were shouting us down telling us to be quiet, tell us to shut up. And then I said, I remember when I said something, um, I was shouted down as well. And I said, I promise you, I think it was around 2018, 2019. Mm -hmm. I said, I promise you, you all who are for this, you're going to rule the day. You're going to rule the day because you have no, no idea what you're going to, what you're in for. Now, fast forward four or five years later since that yeah. discussion. Since you know, what I'm saying, yeah, they they, they shouted me out because I was for the patriarchy. Mm -hmm. I mean, <laughs> now, so so four or five years later, look what we see. We see um, turfs rising. We see all these chicks rising, and me, I'm waiting for the first or couple um, trans uh, WNBA players. So I can uh, enter that WNBA so I can start watching because right now it's unbearable <laughs> to watch. So, and I bet you those those trans players won't be uh they'll be probably in the 200, 200 players list or th not even they won't even be three. I think it's like three hundred players in the WNBA, so they won't even be in the in the top six hundred. They'll be like you know top six hundred would be. Um, and WNBA and international, so they'll be below yeah. that. They'll be in like yeah. under six hundred level, and they'll yeah. still come in and murk all these all WNBA the players under yeah. under six hundred. They're gonna, the like, they gonna be like Book Chamberlain and Kareem Abdul Jabbar, bro. They're gonna be scoring all absolutely. Kinds of hey, at, at least then it might be entertaining. <clears throat> yeah, it might be entertaining. Start dunking, <laughs> body checking. You know what I'm saying? All that stuff, layups. At, that at layups, layups at, going in. Right. At least at that point, it might be actually might be entertaining. And for me, my first inclination is to approach everything through a lens of inclusivity. But at the same time, I also can't speak accurately to every kind of sport and the different things that go into it. So I really think in these instances, the decisions are best left up to the professional governing bodies that dictate these particular sports. I just feel like God, women are so disrespectful when they don't like like each other when they don't like each other like and they and they feel like it's okay for them to like fire on you boy they are just they're man the fangs and the claws come out also a quick suggestion for your uh, debate yeah there should be some type of demerit whenever any debater opens their statement with i feel like yes absolutely yeah. absolutely i agree with you <laughs> i agree with you yeah, uh, yeah absolutely <laughs> I agree a hundred percent. I was, I was, it's funny you, you're saying that. Cause, um, I was thinking about, cause it's hard to do on here, but uh, <laughs> so I could be like, bing, bing, bing. Whenever I like, I'm like reviewing videos. Whenever someone says, I feel like, but you need to get that. You need to get that soundboard that Kevin Samuels had. Oh, oh man. Yes, well, I have it, oh, man. I want all the sounds. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a jerk. And I, and I'm like, I want, I want to get like, I want original sounds. I don't even know if they're all come up and stuff. See, they take forever. Yeah, I need to get on that. But anyways, we'll see what else. Whatever. What do I have all programmed in here? I don't, I don't even. I don't even know what sounds I actually got programmed in here. Anywho, not good ones, not yet. Uh, <laughs> but I'm working on it. We can just respect and Shout not out to Kevin really Samuels. like our opinions don't fucking matter. Eli, I saw you nodding your head over there several times um <laughs> so so um th this is more than about sports this is about um free free and equal participation for transgender people no, it isn't. yeah yeah you don't and understand. I sports is the ultimate meritocracy in the world if yeah. you can't 
ball. If you can't ball, you can't run, you can't jump, you can't do anything ne- better than the next person, you're not getting a spot on the team. Point blank. This isn't this isn't um oh you you know uh uh, uh it's a it's a, to join. No, we'll let you join if you can ball. You can go to you can you can you can you we'll give you a, a right to practice to, to to do like maybe the combine or things like that or 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 or, or you know get a tryout get yeah. get a tryout but you yeah. have to be able to do it better than the next person. Yeah, if you can do it better than the next person, okay, well then, okay. And if you don't get that team, someone else is there, and they'll, they'll probably pick you up because they say, "Hey, that that per- that dude is good, that or that person is good." Yeah. But if you can't do better than the next person, don't matter what yeah. what, what you little social program says, you ain't getting on because you're not. Yeah. You didn't beat out the next person. Got to be out the next person. Right? Meritocracy, meritocracy, yeah. and it's that simple. Absolutely, ain't, ain't I, no participation trophies in there. No, if you, if you ain't good, if you ain't good, that's it. Your ass get out. <laughs> Absolutely. Here, in fact, here, let me let this go. We're going to go back the to race some of these. Sees this as a socially acceptable way to begin to remove trans people from different engagements in our society. So it does just start with sports or bathrooms or locker rooms, something that they find is more acceptable. And then at this point, they started to move into education, getting trans teachers fired, banning trans books. This is a route that um, is very effective because it's seen as more acceptable. Um, But it's also... You know what's really interesting? Like... Like they're also like letting letting him rock right now and not interrupting him, which is fascinating. I mean, it's just I don't know. It's, it's just it's yeah. you know what I mean. And it, and it, and it, <laughs> yeah, and the, yeah, and at the same, and you know, it's like it's almost like you wow. they can't biologically they don't even realize that it's still a white man. <laughs> it's still a white man taking choice. Man, you know, white man still doing what 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 uh. The same type of sh- stuff, you know what yeah. I mean? But y'all can't meet. This is I'm telling you this right now. White men feel come more comfortable around women than men because no one's there to check him like a man, when men men yeah. would do if they didn't disagree. If they didn't disagree. Yeah. And that's why they always like to be more around women. And I've said that for years. So, yeah, that's crazy, bro. I think it's just I think it's interesting. And it's, again, like I said, they're at least giving him the her. The debt, like the deference to just not speak. You I call, don't speak I call over. them shim, shim, the shim, shim. The shim. They can say yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Like, I mean, do y'all know how many um, trans women have won national titles? One as of right now, but don't worry, they're coming. One too many. One. One too it's many. Weird. That's what's up, Pearly. Shout out to Pearly. Yeah, Thomas is the only one. One too many. One. If, it's if one woman- too many. <laughs> one too many is right. <laughs> Dude, there is a, there is a trans woman in high school right now. Yeah. There's trans women. And also, oh no, two, three of them. Yeah. One in wrestling, one in wrestling, yeah. and two in track and field. Two the black two boys track. in track, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Those, those shims over there. <laughs> and um, they are murking, murking everybody. Everybody. It's hey, the most hilarious thing I've ever seen in my hey, life. <sighs> we all have seen those that little that little dude in the hood that had wheels, you know what I'm saying? It was always in the front. <laughs> it was always like when we played tag, nobody was gonna catch him. <laughs> he was always the one that got away. You know what I'm saying? Like those, the girls that are running track are that guy. Those those oh, two, shit. yeah. But they, one of them got they got one of them I think got dreads. The other ones got braids, and it's like they look like little the jacked up little boys, jacked up little boys winning. They they finally. St- the parents started eventually um, um, complaining, and uh, I'm not sure. I think they should, they've got to be getting ready to um, to graduate right now because they've been. I think the story when I first looked at or read the story, I think that they were like maybe sophomores or juniors, maybe a year or two ago. But here's the thing, man. And like I said, I just want to like touch on this part. This is kind of the part that's the most important: is that when we really look at these world records. A woman will never beat a man. Never beat a man. Women's outdoor, 1,500 meters. That's three minutes and 50 seconds, right? Men's outdoor, 1,500 meters, right? Three minutes and 26 seconds. 
Let's go the even mile for the men. Three minutes and 43 seconds. It's a little bit longer. One mile, so it's three minutes and 43 seconds. Women outdoor, one mile, four minutes and 20, or four minutes and 12 seconds. Right? Like, it's not even close. Not even close. Let's go to the 5K. 5K, mm, what is that? Let's go 5,000 meters right there. What is that? 14 minutes. 14 minutes for the women. 14 minutes, six seconds. For the men, 12 minutes, 35 seconds, a minute and a half faster. That's a lot. A lot. You know, for, to, yeah. to the casual friend, you might not understand. This one, yeah. like, well, that's one of you. No, no, no. That's a lot. It's that's a, lot. a distance. If you look at the, the Olympics, when they try to do co-ed, the co-ed sprint in, in the mm. Olympics, mm-hmm. when the, when there was, they had, they had a, 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 the one part of the race when they had one guy, Running against yeah, the the girls, yeah, he took off, and it it, it was a, a wide gap. He by the time he get there, he yeah. got there to his female partner. The guy got there to his female partner and gave it a baton. Yeah, he gave her such a far edge that the, again, only a man could catch up to her mm-hmm. to um, at least a minute to, 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 to yeah. her that speed. We, the Olympics, I don't know if it was done to appease the the, the woke crowd or whether yeah. to try to send a signal, low-key send a signal that, yo, this is not going to work. Because every time the guys got the baton and they had a couple of women or they were racing only the women on the, on the relay, they took, or even if they got the baton late, yeah, they took off if they not only got close to them, but they surpassed them by a wide margin. It was yeah. ridiculous. I was cracking up. I was like, it's not even was, close. Either this was a big mistake or this was a genius one. <laughs> Gerald, you're breaking out. Borgin a little bit. Go on ahead. What were you saying, Gerald? Go ahead. Say that again. Can you hear me now? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. I was saying we're not. They're not going to. We're not going to feel the ramifications of it. They are. So they never do. I, we wait. We we're literally waiting for trans men to yeah. come and try out against other out? real men. Yeah, we are waiting for you to come try the NBA. We are waiting for you to come try out in the NFL. We are waiting for you to come try out in the NHL. It is going to be a totally different beast. You are going to get body checked. You're going to get slammed. You're going to get hemmed up. You're going to get um, uh, uh, dunked on. You're going yep. to get outpaced, outrun, outpaced, even by the guys who are 5'11". Yep. You don't stand a chance don't stand against a chance. the male physical body. And yeah. you won't even stand. And also, and also you, if, you get, if you're getting a trial by the NBA, that means that you're probably in the... Hmm, <laughs> Top top five hundred players, top five hundred yeah. players, big facts. So you're facing the top five hundred players, and you probably, as a woman who's tra- getting on, probably was in the top top hundred of females. So the top female hundred players can't even play against the top uh five hundred six hundred players. Yeah, five hundred six hundred e- easily. You can't even easily. Match like them. I said, you can't even match like I- them. Yeah, like I said earlier, Leah, uh, Leah uh, Thomas, the guy that that won this, the biological man that won the swimming uh, championship, NCAA swim, one one of the NCAA swimming championships, was ranked four hundred and fifty fourth, um, in men, and won a championship. So, I mean, it, it, and again, it's it's like they're built different. We're we're built different, and then they just can't just. I mean, it's just you can't. It just makes it very difficult for to have a. You know, it's like the conversation is not honest. That's what it is. It's just not an honest conversation. And and the messed up part about it is, unfortunately, women are going to be on the receiving end of this ass whooping. Like it's a, it's a, it's a it's a biological fact. And that's the part that's messed up more than anything. It's like, yo, we're doing we're jumping through all these hoops to appease women and to like make it so that there's yeah. like they want complete they want complete freedom of everything. Yo, just import black people. All. Uh, you know what? Right. They got you know, just imported black people. <laughs> I mean, every oh, other country. Oh, when they oh, want to win some yeah. Oh yeah, you want with the hundred and three? You got you got to have some. You got to have a. You got to have some. Uh, I feel like that's. Some, I feel like some jacked up shit. That's that's cheating. 
<laughs> hey, all the all the Jamaicans are like, oh, this is some bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Jamaicans are like, nah, hold on. It's like I recognize that guy. He goes to my barber shop. And, and look, and look, all these other look at all these Africans over here. They don't look nothing like none of these Africans. <laughs> all these Africans over here sitting down. Look at all these these Africans are like all of them are like 140 pounds. They're like all those jacked ass females. That's not even fair. This lady's upset. She's like, wait a minute. <laughs> That's not fair. I mean, their reaction just speaks, just says the truth. I mean, nobody agrees with this. No, no. <laughs> well, I mean, look, I mean, it's a, it's a hell of a spectacle. You know, it's a, it's a, it's, it's a, it, it's, it's fun. This mm -hmm. is fun. I'm glad they did it the way that they did it. Right? It's like you got the, the intro, and everybody has their like team thing, and it's fun. That's fun when you're with the track team, and like you have a track team, and you run with these people every day, and so on. Like, and you, you practice with them, and you work with them. Doing something like this can be fun. I'm I'm okay with that. And mm -hmm. like, but to 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 make it like, you know, to allow a biological man to participate with biological women and put them in a place where they can win a world record right or like win a championship of some sort is bull it's like yo look if you can participate bull. all you want but don't you but you can't participate in and win something like if you want to win something you have to be a biological woman and or or, or you need to you need to or you need to participate with the with the other person that's or, or with the other side because again, there's no, there's no way that a man's going to, or that a woman, a biological woman is going to take enough testosterone to let her jump in on the track with a guy like this, with any of these guys and think that she's going to be able to run with him, period. You know why I knew that the, the testosterone doesn't work the same way in women that doesn't work in, in, in men. Mm -hmm. I watched, you ever watch celebrity boxing? Uh, I not no, not recently. No. Okay. Uh, I watched Celebrity Box in the early two thousands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I watched a sloppy middle aged, um, Joey Butterfuco <laughs> beat up on China the pro wrestler. Oh, ah. <laughs> and yeah. if we can find up to this, if we can find that fight, it's the most hilarious shit. You know how you train for that fight? How, well, I only smoke cigarettes. No, no, you only drunk beer. Yeah, I see. Yeah, that <laughs> sounds about right. He's like, he's like, what do you train? Oh, I drunk some beer. I yeah, beer. I'm ready for this. Stone Cold Steve Austin for your ass, bro. That sounds about he right. Beat up or throwing her around. I was cracking the hell up. That sounds about right. What um have you guys while they're getting this going on? Did you guys get a chance? Well, you guys, we all we were all on um uh Dennis's uh broadcast last night. You guys get a chance to um see what was going on in there. Your boy, your boy was in the chat. Oh shit! I know. I was I was kind of talking. I was I was throwing low. I was throwing low level shots. I, I, re, I think I, I think I responded with one of them with the laughing yeah. emojis. I yeah, saw I was throwing low level shots. I was throwing. I caught the shots. replay. I didn't see the uh, the comments. Oh yeah, nah. I, he was like, he, he corrected somebody's speech or something. Oh, this and I, guy. I, and I was like. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was like, Pookie's in here correcting diction, huh? <laughs> but he didn't. Res I mean, you know, I, you know, it was vague enough to where you know it didn't, you know. Yeah, I, I know, know man. Wasn't good, trying good. to be. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be done. I'm gonna be done. I promise. I'm, done. Let it go. It's just, I'm, I'm not gonna let find go. that. That dude is. I'm gonna funny, let it go. Man. I hope he has a podcast. Oh. I like to. I would like to come up on his podcast if he does a podcast or something like that. I'll come up on his shit. Well, a, you know, I, I, I'll have that debate with him. You know, he, he won't because it won't be a debate, it'll be an argument. Yeah, I'm he gonna, he gonna, he gonna argue with you. I'm gonna tell yeah. you the truth. I love when they try to argue because I just derail everything. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I just have a good time. Man. I just yeah. smiling. Like, yeah, you taking yeah. this shit serious. And I'm over here just chilling. Yeah. Well, I, like I said, man, I watched, I watched that interaction back and the only time he looked like he was having a good time was when he thought he was frustrating me, which is kind of funny. I was like, wow, this is crazy. This is just like, a, just like arguing with a girl. It's crazy. God damn. Why is it too new? Okay. So let's see. So they've got, so it looks like all of the guys first leg 
all the it looks like all the guys start first leg and then they do they mix up the rest of them is that no, what they yeah do? the guys start off and then they mix Yo, it they up are run, they are running like a bat of hell from that end. cooking yeah. bro 400 <laughs> meters is almost a dead is they, they, like pretty much a dead yeah the imported people Africans, that don't know just to, for for that, a, a, a cooking, to, man. yeah for people that don't know an actual sprint so your body can only go a hundred percent like 10 tenths for about eight seconds that's it Outside of that, what they've done is they've throttled down to like 90%, 95%, 85% of what their body can do, and then they maintain that. But an actual 100-meter sprint, they're only accelerating for the first 80 meters. The last 20 meters, they're slowing down. They're just trying to keep up the speed. Like you can't, they accelerate till they're, they hit, they're usually around the 80 meter mark is where they hit their terminal velocity, the fastest they can go. And then from there, they're just trying not to slow down. Like your body starts to lock up after, when you go 10 tenths, after eight seconds, your body's like, uh oh, and start shutting things down. That's how it works. So like what they're doing is they're like 96, not 96.9% 96 and they're just holding it there, like holding it there. That's how, that's how you run a 400 meters. I used to run track and used to, oh, and, my, no. and my little sister run, ran professionally too. So like, I, I, I absolutely positively love this stuff, but I can, I can hit you with all sorts of fun facts, but I'm not going to bore you, but I do want to see this. Cause I want to see if they do, oh, I want to see, yep. Oh, oh, I was like, oh, the Indians are catching. Oh, the Indians are some faster oh. imported Africans. Uh, that's right. Of course. 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 Okay. I'm so, all, okay. Oh, so we got a guy in here. Okay. So now we get a chance to see. Let's at see. least get to see one. Oh, like, shit. uh oh, oh Poland. He's okay, so like, we're going to switch it up a little bit and the, watch him pull away. Turning. Watch him just pull away. Like, and oh, yeah, he, deuces. He speed up. I'll see y'all later. Hit he hit that uh hit that stagger. Yeah, he's running against largely women. Yeah, of course. Yeah, he's the only one. So it looks like they could switch it up. So he knew they knew obviously that he was going to be able to get look away. Look at Jeez, that. Look at that. Yeah. Poland's not even the best track runners. No, no, they're not. They're not. They're not even the top ten. No, they're no, not. Not even the top ten. They're not. Which is why this is kind of a, a good kind of ex, kind of a great experiment. And I think you were Jeez. right, oh um, Matt. I think God, Rodin, look, Rodin. I think you were 100 percent correct when you said that this was either. Girl. <laughs> gonna catch her to the Polish girl. Watch. When you said uh, that that this was even either a a a it was a ploy to like show them like hey how bad of an idea this really is. Obviously, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I don't know, man. I mean, you don't put one one man in a lineup against women and expect uh, common sense. <laughs> Come on. But but I mean, again, man, we're they're having these real. They are they're having. I mean, again, we're we're having biological men in sports right now competing with. I mean, that surfer girl oh, yeah. said that 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 girl that surfs with a missing arm. Oh, what's up, Mister Allen? What's up, bro? Here, see, get here. Yeah. Boom. 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 All right. So this is the anchor leg, right? Yeah. So that's oh, the, so that shit. so she's running the anchor leg, and all these dudes about to run her down. So I guess we'll see. And girls don't follow oh, directions, right? They get man, in look the at way. Jamaican. Done. She, Jamaican she man got right cooked, uh, she got oh, cooked in the oh, first USA? hundred meters, bro. Yeah, Deuces. Oh. <laughs> hey, hey, bro. Deuces. What's bro. up? The stream drop. The stream right. drop. Which one? The whole stream dropped. Like your stream just dropped completely. Really? Yeah, oh, the whole y'all were y'all were gone. Uh, some oh, some wrong. Right now, though. Oh, that's check crazy. the comments. Oh, copyright. Oh, that's what it is. That's what it is. My bad. I didn't realize we couldn't really do. That. I guess I yeah, should have known. Kept the, I should have kept the. No, it's not you. It's me. Oh, okay. Because uh, I should have known. Track and field, they don't like that stuff. We we are we got too comfortable. <laughs> oh, vice we can do, vice we can do, track and field we cannot. Yeah. Damn. Oh. Yeah. 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 Shit got yeah. weird real fast. I'm like, hold up. I'm sitting back and enjoying, hoping I can make it back into at least for two uh, hours. Participating. All of a sudden, it was just gone. Then it popped so back up. I'm like, oh shit, it's a chance. 
Okay, yeah, so so. One. I'm looking at the screen right now. It's back up. Yeah, yeah. It, it it did come back yeah. up, but uh, there it did it did. I guess they did pull the put the kibosh on us for a second there. Here, let's maybe just get to see if we can like go. I'll have to most likely I'll have to like delete this whole stream, but whatever. I don't care. That's cool. Oh yeah, right? yeah, because we were talking about the uh, Decepticons. Yeah, like you, well, I don't know. Well, maybe I don't think. Well, I mean, we didn't say anything bad, but I, it's um. Whenever you, no, but no, whenever just the fact that we're just talking about them, it's just. That, well, that that's probably one thing, but um, I whenever you're doing um, uh, track and field, they are hardcore about the copyright stuff. Oh like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But we saw what happened. Yeah, they don't allow you to broadcast. I thought I would. I thought since I didn't have the the um, audio on and kind of had us on the screen still, yeah. that we would be able to sneak it past. But clearly, that yeah, was look, not look, the case. look at this. Look at this. Look at look at look yeah. at this. Yeah, I just wanted to get this last little bit. Let's see. Even the ways and dream. It's, oh man! And the dudes, is... and the dudes run her down, run them down. Let's see. Anyways, Mr. Allen, what's up, bro? How you doing? I'm good. I'm good. Uh, just did a little project or whatever. Made, 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 made some quick change. Getting ready for tomorrow. Pretty much. Figured I'd jump in and uh, listen to the stream. Yeah, man. And then I saw that I saw that bull they pulled. I'm like, oh, hold up. Let me tell them. Let me let, me yeah, let the brother that, know. I'm, I'm oh, glad you got Let the brother know. <laughs> Jamaica's yeah, about to speak in the USA about the past yeah. these chicks. Look at this. Oh. Look at this. Look at this. Oh. An African Bahrain. Oh. Oh. And the other. And the. Oh. <laughs> the <clears throat> oh, man. You know, again, I it's just in, in practice, it's a fun it's a fun game, right? It's a fun thing to do. And, uh, you know, there's some strategy and, and, and with those guys that I'm sure they like work out together. Uh, and, USA came in number one. And they, yeah. yeah, they they work out together. Allison Felix. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Um, you know, they work out together. Most likely they, you know, they they do stuff together some of the time. So I think in practice, it's it, it's a fun thing, a novel um, uh, exercise, as they say. But to to have like a world to, to allow a biological man to to compete with biological women and to be to be able to um uh win a world record of some sort take a female a woman's world record i think is trash and i think that this, that's just a bridge too far and uh you know unfortunately you know it seems like that's just the kind of a uh, world well, that we're in well like i said like i said man they never had they, they never seen they never seen it happen and once they see it they're gonna be like oh because yeah. we never seen this in the West. We never seen a woman, a biological woman or a biological man go toe to toe with each other in athletics or physicality. Yeah. Because the men practice so much for strength, and it was, and now they're challenging us. And it's just like, okay, you want to smoke? Oh, the stream is going. What's that? They let the stream go. They did. Oh shit! Yeah, it's, it's down. Did it? It's down. Yeah. Oh. Hold on, hold on. Give, me, give me a second. It'll probably come back up again. Yeah, that's second, yeah they, they, they cut the stream. On that's it. crazy. Told you. Let's Damn. see. Man. Damn again. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Fair use. Nah. It doesn't even matter with fair use. They won't. It's the. It's a USA track and field thing. Trust me. I've. I've already. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's. I've, yeah. I think it's that. that. Yeah. NBC. Yeah. Most likely, I'll have to. Uh, um. Can they still hear us? I don't think so. Oh, okay. Nah, nah, nah. Uh, it's gone. Yeah, it's gone. It's gone, bro. That's crazy. It, it may come. It may come back up, though. Yeah, it might. We'll sit here for a second or two. We'll see if it wants to. If it wants to do whatever. Yeah, we learn lessons. I'm not. I'm not that upset about it. You know, like I, I said, know that. if I knew that, I yeah, would we need to. Not, I well, I, I, I legit thought that. Um, no joke. I was like, okay, normally. Well, because I've done um, other, sh I've done uh, prepared content. In fact, if um, on one of my other channels, one of my um, mo one of my highest uh, viewed uh, streams, <coughs> oh, it's back up. Okay. One of my highest viewed um, videos was a track and field um, 
was a track and field um, video. But what I did was I had to t um, cut out uh, some of like the super slow-mo clips and like the stuff where they use like specialized cameras. And it actually took me a couple of tries to figure out like what it was that they were like keying in on. Was it like the logo? Was it the audio? Was it the uh, like, was it the announcer? It's um, back up. Yeah, it's back up. It's yeah, back up. Um, so yeah, most likely I'm gonna have to go on ahead and delete this stream, but that's okay. I ain't really tripping. more than anything. I'm gonna just in case I am going to let Mr. Marcellus, um, and I'm gonna get, I'd like to get uh, 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 Ronan in and Mr. Allen. I'm gonna let him rock real fast and then uh, let me know what your thoughts are, at least on just this kind of on what he said. Issue with transgenders, I do have an issue with athletes who are transgender trying to participate, going from a transition of a man to a woman and now playing with the women. And I will say that. Y'all could try and Dave Chappelle me all y'all want. I am very clear on this. You could be a transgender, you could be the homie. But I'll be damned you could be if the a homie. male at birth turns into a female and tries to compete against my daughters. She ain't out there. We, we, we out. Don't make this a human rights issue. This is a biological issue. Simple as that. Trust me, I am a man. And then I'm like, why can't the dudes who transition to women actually empower women and compete against the men? Since you so damn bad. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, if I were me, Marcellus, and then tomorrow I'm Martha, I change up my gender, I'm now a woman. You know what I would try to do? Compete against the dudes. Why? 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 Hello? Anybody? Because it's easier, damn it. <laughs> Flojo, what's the world record in the, in the 100? 10, 4, 9, 10, 4, 8? What's it in, in, in 100 for men? 9, 5, 8? A damn second almost? Man, y'all better stop playing. And why use objective numbers? Because it's pretty easy to digest. I hate saying fair, but it's just not even right. Forget fair. It's not right. Uh, Mr. Allen, bro, what are your, what are your thoughts? I have no issue. He didn't lie. Um, Not once. Honestly, some some of them dudes that I mean, it, I, I get it. Okay, cool. If you want to transition, then transition. But why transition? And then in that world, you have the strength of Superman. Uh, it was a quote from when he fought Doomsday uh, or Dark Side. He was like, "Yeah, you can actually take it." I have to. I pretty much have to move like I'm in a world made out of paper. Well, that's these dudes to transition and then jump into female sports. You still have all that testosterone and physical freaking strength, and you ragged all in these chicks. Yeah. It's the reason why they have weight classes in men's sports. You just you. you just want to throw all of those all of that scientific fact out the window for feelings. That makes no sense. You know what? I feel like you can jump off jump off a bridge and survive. I feel <laughs> like you can fly. So pick the highest tower and take a leap of faith. I feel like bullets aren't hot when shot out of, shot out, out, of, out of a gun. I feel like I can drink and drive and be okay. I feel <laughs> it's, it's stupid. It makes no logical fucking sense. I feel like I can play in traffic on the highway and not get struck by a car and it should stop because of my feelings. Yeah, argue that, argue, argue that bullshit. Argue that bullshit. You fucking Absolutely. can't. Because you're just, no. But yeah. you know what? I'm, I'm abrasive, like, and I, I hold women to time. <laughs> hey, I had I had one of I had one of my clients call me problematic once. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> She's like, you're kind of problematic. I was like, yeah, I guess maybe I am. You're being a man, I got yo, call me trouble man. I got a whole theme music with whole theme music on me, man. Trouble yeah. man. Trouble man. I'm like, nah, man. I'm not gonna. I am not going to do all this song and dance just for your feelings. I'm just not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I just assume not deal with you at it's all. It's tiring. Yeah. It's so tiring. Yeah. It's, it's so tiring. I'm just like, get out of my face. I'm, I ain't got time for this. It's <sighs> equivalent yeah. to simping. It's really an equivalent the same bucket as simping. It's, it's you can only simp for so much. Especially yeah. if you're a real man. Yeah. You, I know we trying to do. You're trying to hit those skins. You're trying to get those skins. Yeah. But you can only do it for so long. No, in some cases, you're trying to keep your job. Oh, oh, go, ahead. Ahead. Oh, go ahead, broken. Point, go ahead. At some, at some point, you're gonna spaz at your boss. <laughs> you can't <laughs> sit for too long, man. If you're a real dude, you can't <laughs> sit for too long. You're trying to see 
because you you just want an easier outcome. But when you realize that what you're losing in yeah. yourself, and you just go hell no, you just get yeah. tired of it. I, for me, it's more about I, I I it makes me I don't like being manipulated. Like I don't like being manipulated. I don't like being jerked around. I don't like someone making me do something that I don't necessarily want to do. Right. And, and making me, making me do call she a him or try to figure out who this person is or, or do all this song and dance is not, is not, it annoys the hell out of me. And, and, you know, we, we used it before passive aggressive. I think that that kind of falls in that passive aggressive back uh, bucket, but you know, just because you, I mean, again, I mean, I don't know, Mr. Allen, I, is, is, I don't know that I could say it any better than you did. Like, <laughs> trying to convince me that bullets ain't hot. <laughs> I feel like these bullets ain't hot is real. But, um, oh, it looks like Uncle D's got a, let's see, say, hate that hate produced. Uh-oh. Um, oh, he says, uh, witchcraft, proxy violence, black female supremacy, father alienation, effemination of black boys, um, baby deletion. So it looks like... Um, Uncle D is about to go in again. He's on a mission, bro. Salute to him. Um, salute. Let me see yeah, if salute. I can. Um, maybe I can put this up here so we know where where we'll be headed. I know we know where we'll most. You know, just to kind of push and promote so that um, people know what's up. And um, also to shout out to Gerald. Thank you so much, man, for for putting that on the community on your community tab and um yeah and or like sharing that that's i mean that's kind of how we can get those handful of extra views and 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 really start to kind of build up well, our own network okay. yeah like well what i'm noticing with my analytics is that the algorithm is pushing my pushing the um my um men's my men's content and my red pill my like red tip my red pill uh videos forward so i'm like nice. yeah let's do that well not only that, i i want to do it like because but it's yeah. just like I, I didn't know how to market myself towards that so and then I'm, I'm now I'm starting to figure it out. So, yeah. Uh, what um, what else would you, what else did you, or is that exact? What type of content were you preferring to 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 create? Well, it was it was it, it was um, originally red pill content because I was in the space for a while, but I kind of I try to derive and try to mix it up a little bit, see what I could do. But I'm like, it's gonna. But then I'm like, wait a minute, I'm gonna confuse the algorithm. So I gotta I gotta pick I gotta pick what what my chicken sandwich is and do it. Mm. So yeah. my chicken sandwich is gonna be red pill content. If I want to do something else, I just create another channel for it. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like I was kind of telling you before, like um, creating a second or third channel is yeah. a good way to be able to, because um, again, like um, one of so I got my live running on one. I think although it's not what I normally do, but you know you can. It just helps you kind of get a little momentum behind your um oh shit. It helps you get a little bit momentum behind your uh behind your videos if you have two, three, four people that are watching simultaneously. Yeah. And then you know it starts to bleed into everything else. And like I said, on top of that, you get the you get the watch hours. Um but uh ooh, I'm gonna cover this tomorrow. Uh Ronan. Mm -hmm. Um this uh this guy. Um, Terra founder Do Kwan charged with fraud over its forty billion dollar crypto cash. Oh, hey man, why is it that like we get murdered for we get murked? Excuse my language, murked for like the five dollar bag of potato chips, but these folks can steal like forty billion dollars. Well, his, his situation mm -hmm. is that he's out when he's out of the country. Mm -hmm. Trust me, people want to murk him. Do Kwan wants pe many people want him to meet an Epstein an Epstein situation in a cell. Oh, shit. Um his life is his life's on threat. The, the, the safest but or the safest place for him would be in a prison, a maximum security prison in in, in the hole when no one mm -hmm. could get to him. Because yeah. he's this people all across the planet, all across <sighs> the world, who want to murk this young man for what he did. Mm -hmm. If he did that if he did that to me, to, to me and my team, mm. oh man, I'm telling you this right now. The, the number one reason would be to, to for me to get um seven figures, to yeah. reach seven figures would be so I could take out uh, reach, his, reach out and reach out and touch someone, huh? Reach out and, and touch this man. Yeah. 
<laughs> so what, um, what, what, what can I ask you? And I mean, we're going to, I'm just this surface level questions and I'm going to go super duper deep into it. I'm kind of curious. So do me what, so how is this, his situation? Is it very much different than the FTX situation? Oh, with, uh, Sam Bankman Freeman. Yeah. Similar situation overall financially, yeah. but different, different reasons. Got gotcha. different reasons. Uh, Think Bank for Freeman was literally, he literally wormed his way in to, to with, with thanks to black matriarchal, a black matriarchal political figure, uh-huh. and um, used her network um, to get Did in. You say black? Oh, yeah. Mr. Uh, Mr. Bankman Friedman is friends with uh, very close friends, very, very close friends, had dinners together. Um, kiss each other in the cheek. Um, they can pick up the phone and call each other with Maxine Waters. Oh my god, mm. and she is a highly respected Damn. woman in Hollywood, she's respected in black Hollywood spaces. She wormed, he wormed her way. He, 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 she was technically her gate. He gave her, I'm sure he. he he gave some money to her um, election, re-election, yes. and she opened up her pocket, uh, her her black book of friends, and they invested. They invested, and then after that, they those black Hollywood elites, they opened up their um, their 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 friend book to networks, white yeah. friends to their network yeah. of white of white people, yeah. and that's why you see you know, such a mixed bag of people who invested in this and um also athletes. There's some athletes yeah. too as well. A and, bunch of um, them. Yeah, so, but when you look at the, if this was an upside down, upside down pyramid, yeah. right? Connecting what is or, at the or, top or, or the bottom? Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, no, no, you know, a standard pyramid. Mm-hmm. At the top, when you go up, you'll mm-hmm. see who's the one who really uh, open the uh, floodgates there is Maxine Waters. Fascinating. And she won't take any accountability for it. She's she oh, talks she, vaguely, her. she talks vaguely. She's she's actually the one that really wanted to go after him, not because it's the right thing to do, but she wants to save face. Because it made her look bad. Oh, it makes her look extremely bad. Ass. She's covering oh, the exactly. She's covering her own ass. Everybody sees it. She's covering her own ass. Wow! You yeah, this guy's, this guy, this guy, this guy's like they got inter, up. they got Interpol looking for this fool. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. He's fucked up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this guy right wow. here, he's he 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 got the Rothsteins on the, the, the he got all the world powers wanting a piece of him because he he did the same thing that Bankman Freeman did. He used a new technology. To make himself rich, really, you could have gotten rich anyways with time. He already was a multimillionaire when mm. uh his company took off. He made he, how much money do you need? Green you're gonna be, a, you're gonna be a hold, up, hold up, hold up, big brother, yeah. big brother, yeah. Look at it from this aspect this man ripped off some of the most powerful people in the world. Yeah. Didn't have to, but did it as a F you. Yeah. Mm. So I'm just saying you the Illuminati. That, that takes a that's a that takes a certain amount of, you know, I'm like, how do you walk with balls that big, sir? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know it's coming down a pipe, but still you like, you know what? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> so so well, here, here's a real question though. So the, do you think he did it? Do you think he didn't do you think he did it? In, uh, intentionally to stick it to the man, or do you think that he didn't think he was going to get caught? Do Quan? Yeah. Oh, Do Quan did it to the regular man. His <sighs> most of his investment, because my mind you, most of, no one, I didn't know about this guy. I never heard of Terraform before. Mm. Because it's like over like five thousand different types of crypto, mm-hmm, or thousand mm-hmm. fifty five cryptos in the ecosystem, in the entire. Um, market uh crypto market and on top of that each crypto there's some cryptos that have what we call um gas tokens 
they have their own ecosystem. So it could be like 10, 20 tokens under one gas token. Mm. You know what I mean? So yeah. like these gas tokens come with their own ecosystems. So it's like it's like I, I he could have been he could have been under a gas token for all I know. So I really never heard of him before. But yeah. um like unlike XRP, XRP is a viable thing that they're trying to get into the um global market. They're trying to get into also they're trying to get into um the Fed. They want to work with the Fed. You know, which that's why I was mm. kind of looking at them side eyeing them because they want to work with the Fed. Mm. But if you want to make trillions of dollars, want to reach trillions of dollars, you want to reach up to Bitcoin, you're going to have to. They're taking a different route. They're working with the Fed while Bitcoin is decentralized. So the Telform, I've never heard of. It could be one of the uh, hundreds of billion dollar, multi billion dollar uh, uh, USD coins out there. And, um, it's surprising, like and for me, it's surprising. This guy is so short sighted. Yeah, He's so short sighted. I would never do that if I had a forty billion dollar crypto um um coin. Yeah, that's worth it's that like, much. It's like play it straight, right? It's play like, it straight, play bro. It straight. Like, yeah, why you, why? you could be you could be a billionaire by the end of the next two years. Under the next two years, you could be I'm gonna become a new billionaire, the new crypto billionaire. So you don't so you so do you so if you had to guess it's so it's you you wouldn't guess that it was ignorance it was just greed it was just pure greed pure greed Bankman Friedman right. was an idiot he believed in some utopian bullshit yeah. this guy is pure greed you know, so you don't think Bankman Friedman was greedy too or you, no, you no, think no, he's, he's not greedy he he, he he believes that the stuff he was investing in with that money yeah that the money he gave to Democrats and Republicans and to, well, he, to was, this, he he had this theory. If he's on he's on YouTube with his theory, and that's sorry. what led me to believe he used the money. Was that video? I was like, oh, he's a utopian. He's a Marxist. He's a Marxist socialist capitalist. It's like when he's neo. How does someone Marxist get that? How does someone theory. get that deep to the point to where they can actually uh, get that much money? Process behind business. Cause like, if you go look, look, we'll we'll talk about it. You go look, J.P. Morgan Chase. You look at all of like the all the like billionaire American billionaires. They're like cutthroat. You know what I'm saying? No. Cutthroat, cutthroat. Here I'm gonna let this rock real quick. Oh, <laughs> this is really really staggering. Um, we've obviously been paying a lot of attention to uh, Terra USD and Do Kwan, um, and we uh, did Please. some of the early reporting that, frankly, I believe triggered the uh, rush to the exits as people realized just how bad the situation was. We now have charges from the SEC. And what's really notable about this is often when charges come down from the SEC or other regulators, they pretty much are just a laundry list of things we already know. These charging documents include huge new drops of information. Um, and I'll just mention two right up. Yo, this is this is a nightmare right here. <laughs> Secu <laughs> you see United States District Court Southern District of New York Securities and Exchange Commission plaintiff <laughs> and then your company underneath it with your name there as a defendant yeah, fuck. <laughs> soil dude, pants dude, soil dude, pants dude, dude it's it's. let me tell you something man this thing with Do Kwan I don't see him it's different than Bankman Friedman mm-hmm on the, the level, Do Kwan stole from the average man. The average man works in prisons. The average man works in courtrooms. The mm -hmm. average man works in police departments. The mm -hmm. Any one of these guys get have invested in this thing, they're going to want his head. They're going to want his head. It's like, dude, and, and I was shocked to see how average people can get inside to the highly secure places if they, work, <laughs> if they work in the right field. That's what's up. This guy is not safe. Yeah. Oh, he messed Brandon up. Brandon Freeman is safe. He's in a, 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 a he's in a highly secure. He, he's at home, but yeah. he has security around him. This guy is going to be put in a put somewhere where someone can get to him. Yeah. And also, too, if I'm not mistaken, so because of regulations in the um, in the state or in the United States, the rules are different. Right. So in like FTX's situation, there was kind of like there was the American group of investors and then there was the international group of investors. The 
if, is is from what I understand the invest the in international it, the the majority of the load that got lost got lost from the international side of things. I don't think that there was very many, um, you know, American investors for whatever reason seem like this seems like it is a lot more just full-blown international also from what i can tell i don't know i don't really know like i said i don't really know a ton about this stuff you but still, know, you, but still, but still you mess with the you mess with any type of you know american western currency or what they still coming at your ass it doesn't matter how yeah. much yeah you look, you look at the, federal, still, the federal government yeah. the irs and all that you mess with their money it, it might, and and also, don't forget, you got you got to add on to that the SWIFT system. The SWIFT system is the international system that technically the United States created. Yeah. Though mm. the SWIFT system is garbage, it's garbage mm. uh, now. And, 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 and I mean, who's going to get up at 1 p.m., at 1 a.m. to make a phone call to England? And, and, and dude, this, this last I read about the SWIFT system, there was eighty trillion dollars that sometimes was stuck for a year in the school system. Eighty trillion dollars circling across the world. This is money circling all across from developing countries, uh, first world countries, and developing countries. And sometimes it gets trapped in a mm. corridor somewhere um, because maybe someone didn't show up to work that day, or the computer fr- mainframe is down in in in, in Guam, or whatever whatever reason i mean is it just an antiquated system is that what it it's, is it's very antiquated and the the best system the best hope for the financial future of the world is crypto and i'm not saying that because i'm an investor i'm sorry and i know i know if you're gonna be like yo it's because you have the money in it <laughs> no it's because it's like that it moves like that i send you 10 bucks for because you need it, hey, hey, Reg, I need 10 bucks. I, I could just say, okay, well, give me your give me your address, give me your co wallet address. It's like that, yeah. Just a second, 20, 15 seconds, 10 to 15 seconds, it's in your wallet. When it comes mm-hmm. to banks, you gotta wait at least an hour for me to, for you to get ten dollars. Yeah. Even Cash App, you can't pull it out quickly because yeah. you have to go through your bank. You have to go register with your bank, et cetera, et cetera. So yeah. to me, this is the future. Forget Cash App. Forget any of those. Um, Zelle. This yeah. is because why it can move huge swaps of money digitally, like a computer. This is the, technically this is monetizing the internet. This is this is what's called IoT, the Internet of Things. Yeah. Um, the the the, uh, the third wave of the internet. Yeah, this is, you know that's going to come with automation and etc. Yeah. Crypto is going to be a part of that. Like it or not, blockchain yeah. crypto is going to be a part of that in the future. Now, now and and this will be my last question because we, I'm going to let you let us so we can like migrate over here. But like, so I'm under the impression that to compensate you oh, for wow. the pain caused um, by I'm your under the impression you, that uh, your friends or family. I'm under the impression that um, part of the way that these guys got caught on the dark web is mm-hmm. that they thought that they were moving money around then couldn't be traced and turns out it could yeah um is that kind of so like the idea that you have this kind of untraceable money is not exactly true is that like kind of a selling point that was never really quite correct there are methods to move around untraceable money mm-hmm. but it's it's, it's pretty tedious mm-hmm. and on one is yeah it's pretty tedious and the number two I mean, now there are te- technology cold wallets coming out where you can move it to what's called a dead wallet, um, mm-hmm. a dead wallet. And they're figuring out, they figured out, one guy I heard, he figured out a way to use a dead, dead wallet was technically to move money to destroy it. That's what a dead wallet is. Move want, money to destroy it. Meaning like, yeah, to destroy that crypto. Like say if you have a trillion crypto and you want to lower, lo- you know, People are investing, and the more crypto you burn from for your crypto, raises the price. Raises the prices. So you send that 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 whatever how much you need to a debt what's called a dead wallet, and it's technically burning the crypto. The crypto is now destroyed. No one can get to it. Not you. Not anyone else. It's gone. It's 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 the hackers can't get to it. Gov- no one can get to this. 
Interesting. It's a dead, it's now gone. It's deleted. Um, it's no longer, you can't track it on the market. You can't track it on the market. Got you. Um, uh -oh, now uh -oh. there are guys, now there are guys who are figuring out, oh, uh, now there are guys. Hey, man, can I, come on, bro. Here's the thing, dog. Here's the thing. Can we can we agree that it's kind of bullshit that he hates dudes in the space, but he's like lingering in the chat talking shit? You know what I'm saying? I, to I told Is you. That I, not told you I told you they admire intelligent men who, in the in the back of his mind, he knows. But he likes the problem is he, 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 he likes he's you, too feminine to to really. To, like, like, how yeah. do we let? How do we? You know, but like, jealous. are we not at fault? Like, how do we not? Do we not check that bullshit? Like, how do we just sit here and like? I mean, that's, I mean, I, you know, everyone has a right to go wherever they want to go, right? But like sitting here with the knowledge, knowing that he has an actual problem with the manosphere and black manosphere and, men, and black men in these spaces, and he thinks we're all soft and we're weak and we're not strong enough men and blah, blah, blah. And he, he's very jealous of Mr. Allen's beard or his the beard that he had before. And that, and that, and that we have to like, and we got to like sit here and let him rah, rah in the chat. You know what I'm saying? Like I cut it off. Not... Damn. I cut it off. Damn. You got the biggest beard. Dog. <laughs> this hey. shit is silky, it's luscious. You know what I'm saying? And you be having a net on that motherfucker. It's been laid, dyed, fried, and to the side. You win, my nigga. You win. In six months, I have a beard again. But right now, you the king of the beards of the He's fucking management, dog. You win, my G. God damn. He won. He won. I gave I concede, sir. I concede. He won because oh he was he hated he came in was he came in with violence he came in <laughs> <laughs> anyways all right guys look man he is Thais really he's very he's he's on the on the keyboard this this it's like it, oh. it's like he's watching like, somebody I feel like I feel like he's trying to get on the uh oh he's oh 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 I want all the smoke he says. <laughs> hey, oh. hey, 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 you know what? Normally I wouldn't do this, but I'm gonna be real. Do me a favor. Yeah. Let's do some math real quick, right? Real quick. Yeah. Everybody, yeah. Google Google how much a kitchen remodel or a bathroom remodel costs in your city and state. Okay. Real okay. quick. Okay. I'm gonna go do this. Okay. I'm in New York. Let me see if he got a shot okay. at it. Know? Okay. All right. He started a channel. He's got 29 subscribers. Mm -hmm. yes, 16,000 in the state of Ohio for a kitchen remodel. How much? 16,000. Okay. What about, I got five what about to 12 you? Here. Okay. What about you, uh, Mad Black Rome? Uh, I'm still looking. Kitchen remodeling okay. in New York. I'm, I'm looking at his channel. Wow. Pookie. Wow. Damn. Mm -hmm. Not really giving any numbers for some reason. They're hiding it from me. All right. I'm looking. I'm, 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 I'm going to help you, bro. Okay. Like if a kitchen room, a kitchen room model pays anywhere from 5000 to twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000. And uh, same thing with a bathroom model. I okay. do these all over, the, all over the United States. Okay. I'm free to travel all over the globe. And if I'm making twenty. Thirty-five thousand dollars per remodel. Mm -hmm. Just let's do some math real, real quick. And I can do this anywhere. Mm -hmm. I can do this in your backyard too, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Careful the enemies you make, yes, sir. Careful the enemies you make. Mm -hmm. Oh, that that looks menacing right there. But let me <laughs> let, let me tell you something. Um, I hunt. So, pick your uh, pick your pick 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 people much more carefully. I can leave and go anywhere in the world I want. Yeah, I can choose to be I can choose to be near you. Yeah. So let's just talk. Let's talk nice with each other. Yeah. You yeah, have I the best beer. Mr. Allen, you win, Mr. Allen. You're a veteran. I'm gonna keep doing these remodels. Yo, yeah, man. I ain't no, I ain't messing with Mr. Allen. Mr. Allen got guns. I'm good. Mr. Allen got guns. I'm I, good. I was never. I, I was. I, I, I 
I'm not a veteran, no, but I ended up overseas because of my skill sets. Yeah. So, long story short, yeah. Mama was a drill sergeant, Pops was a Green Beret, and I still ended up mm-hmm. at, with my ass in the, in, in the sandbox. Yeah, he got fired. Pick years. your enemies closely. Yeah. I was in a war zone for four years straight with yeah. only a two week on and in between every six to nine months. Pick your enemies, champ. This dude right I here. I shouldn't be one. It's <laughs> cool. I mean, look, I, I wouldn't look. look normally, look, 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 normally, like I said, I, I wouldn't want to do that. Do this to other brothers, and that, and that's usually not the case. I, like I said, I have the part for me that is messed up is just that I know, I know, knowing what I know, right? Knowing what I know, and then oh, he's you talking know, mad ish. He's in there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. I want you low sperm count Nine. heavy. Wow. Okay. Wow. Uh, You're right. Uh, this, this dude right here is. No, nah, let him go. Let him go. Let him hang himself. It's cool. Let him go. Let him go. Let him go. Wow. Let him go. 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 All the let give a give us fool enough rope, he'll hang himself. Is the is the is the, the same. Give a fool enough rope, he'll hang himself. Let him go. <sighs> it's all good. It's all good. Oh, oh wow. Oh, oh wow. Then rub his nuts on all the only he wives. has wives. The only person who has wives is, is wow. death. Oh, he wants wow. to do what I don't know. Did what did he did? I mean, I don't know. Did you did I mean I guess the, the Pookie Vision 5000 was a little bit cold. I probably could have done without that. <laughs> I could have done funny though. <laughs> I could have I, I don't done know why he doesn't it. come over here. Well, you know why, why he don't want to come over here. Why but I mean, but again, I, we're gonna do this on Dan's channel, like it's not gonna fly very well, bro. Yeah, I mean I it, it's uh Oh, apparently he's got you got his somebody's got his attention today. That's crazy, bro. I mean, why does that's really like, that's why? really wild. I don't get really <laughs> fair. I mean, he's just letting us like I, I don't know. I mean, I, I'm a grown I'm a grown man, and I don't get emotional. I don't. I probably I, I don't understand. I don't, I don't wow, know. I'm about to crap. Who is he talking about? I'm about to shit on this Negro. Who, yo. Who is he talking about? Yo. And then in this, in the very next, what you call it, a shout out. I mean, what do you think? You think he had his like? You think he's on his period? Or, I mean, what, I, I think know. he's on his period, man. Like, know, listen, man. Oh, let this shake. I think, yo, yeah, listen. Either he let it go, or he brings his butt over here. Yeah. Do not bring your shit over there because it ain't your platform. Well, fast. Fast. well here, look, I'm gonna go ahead and end the broadcast, guys, and then we can go over. I'll see you guys over here. Let's uh let's you know let's let his uh Pookie Rage is right solo dolo. He <laughs> Yeah, I'm not I'm not saying to the man, I don't know him. I don't know him like that. Yeah, neither you know do I. I, mean? I don't know you. I, was, I, don't, I don't know you, bro. Yeah, I don't know you like that, but uh I'm glad I, I will I'm say glad this. I, I'm glad I caught I, this on the live. That way I could like highlight it. I can come back to this. I'm so glad I can come back to this. I'm just, I'm glad not, I'm a, this is I'm not a good look this. for him, man. Yeah. Not a good look. Anybody that not wants my attention is definitely going to get it. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, wait. What did he say? Hold on. I want all the smoke. I'll wait. All right. Oh, wow. All right. Well, all right. I'll Check see you. Him. I'll see Check you guys. I'll see, I'll see you guys over there. <laughs> I don't really. I'm trying to. I'm. A, I'm just gonna let him hang himself. I'm not really gonna. I'm gonna do normal, like normal, what I normally do. But we might have to do an after stream after this one. I, I was going. I might have to charge yeah. some batteries. I was gonna shut it down, but praise so Moses. To, we're gonna. We're gonna pray. Wow, I'm gonna let this lay. I wonder who he's talking about. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, that's funny. I want to glad. I want. I want to make sure I memorialize all this. Why does he care all so much? I don't why understand. are you beefing in another person's yeah. platform, bro? If you want to beef, 
Come over bro, here. I told you because he's, a, I'm telling you, it's feminine. Bro, when I told you he stayed in the back for that whole hour and a half, he was in the back for the whole hour and a half, bro. I booted him four times and he stayed in the back. Like nobody does that. Like nobody does that. That's crazy. Only a female would do that. Only a female. So uh, like it doesn't surprise me that he would do something mm -hmm. like that. So we'll go on ahead. Oh, wow. And he's going to call me out by name, even though that's not his real name. Should I put his gun? See, you see how crazy this is? Oh, okay. I think, I think you should just let it. You just let him let it. Yeah. Like you said, let him hang himself. Yeah. He's yeah. doing himself. it to himself, man. He cares too much. Yeah. I mean, just, just let it go, bro. That's hilarious. All right, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, Erica Body's the best. <laughs> I'm an artist. Oh my God. And Joe Martin's got his pennies in a bunch. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace. <laughs> really, I don't know.